hi uh, good evening everyone good evening sir okay so uh, i uh, i got to know from shubham that uh, uh, in previous session we have uh, you guys have discussed i think some of the concepts and some problems from mock uh, quiz right mock of quiz 2 so uh, today what we'll do is maybe solve the problems from uh, mock paper is it fine Yes, sir. Sir, some old. Uh, was mostly done last class. Mock questions are done. In the TA session, we did mostly all the questions. Okay. So, what do you want uh, today? So, to uh, so let me know. We'll Maybe if you have any other questions, you can uh, tell me or week seven and eight concepts. Okay. Yes. Sir, uh, graded assignment. Uh, if you have time, uh, graded assignment uh, eight. a uh, question number 2 grade assignment 8 uh, question number 2 okay okay so, so ha huh. also can we do like one unit organization question from pyq okay fine okay we'll do like i think say then uh, if the questions are already done from mock uh, is the mock solution uploaded uh, like uh, is it visible for you so the mock solution is not uploaded. not it uploaded okay i have already given it to them uh, to the team and so i have uh, spoken to them that uh, he said he has uploaded uh, but uh, okay uh, maybe it will get uploaded uh, within an hour okay uh, okay sir only the last question if you can explain last of mock okay fine okay so i think i'll go with the uh, uh, the the questions which have come to me uh, so first of all we'll solve one grade assignment we get grade assignment question then i'll solve uh, the last question from the mock and if you have any doubts from the previous uh, previous uh, what is it previous mocks or previous whatever previous year questions uh, you can uh, we can solve it also okay so currently i'll go to this one uh, we get question right question number 2 correct uh, yes sir uh, how to write the question Yeah, this, yeah, 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 the points on y equals to x square plus one closest to zero to is right. Okay, so the we we wanted to so this is the surface y equals to uh, x square plus one, right? So this is kind of a surface, right? Uh, and we need to find the point uh, which is closest to two comma zero. sorry uh, 0 comma 2 right okay so uh, the point if you wanted to, let's say if if uh, let's say this is a kind of a surface and let's say this is the point 0 comma 2 okay and we need to find which is the closest point on this curve right so generally okay uh, before finding out uh, finding out the point over this curve what uh, do you know like how to find the distance between the two because we need to find some point over this surface right yes sir maybe somewhere here right so let's say i have picked this point what is the formula or uh, like how to how do you find uh, the distance so because we need to find a distance right yeah. so suppose this is under some root, point under root uh, okay. x minus 0 the whole square y minus 2 the whole square. okay so the so the distance can be written as so this distance i'll write it as a function okay so it will be a function uh, so what will be the function here x minus so root of right okay root of i'll do that maybe root of uh, x x minus 0 square plus y minus 2 square right okay so uh, or maybe suppose you what you can do is you can just remove the square uh, i'll i'll write the function square or, or distance square as a formula okay so this is x minus 0 to the whole square and y minus 2 uh, uh, so this function will look like what x square plus y minus 2 to the whole square but i i need to uh, find the the point over this surface which is closest so to find the closest point what you have to do Sir, you have to find the mi minimum distance right sorry the for the easier calculation right it's okay if if i have the square root also okay let's say if this is a square root i am having but i i need to define a function right so let's say i okay. i have defined a function 
which is square of this distance okay, okay and i am going to uh, optimize or i am going to minimize the distance of this so i can if even if i do the uh, minimize the square of the distance also that will make, uh, give me uh, the correct answer so suppose okay this is the distance formula right this let's say this is distance so i define a function like d square okay and i am trying to uh, find the minimum of the distance okay okay so now uh, okay but uh, this function is in uh, how many variables two variables right two uh, but if i wanted to use any optimization formula uh, i what i need to do currently here if i wanted to use that f dash of x and equated to zero uh, that means i have to make this into single variable right yeah so uh, which is the uh, so we have this surface we can use this equation to plug in into this right because i need to find a point on this surface right uh, which is closest to this uh, 0, 2. now uh, maybe i'll uh, replace this x square by y minus 1 okay here right can i do that yes sir okay so uh, then in that say uh, this will become y minus 1 uh, if i expand this uh, what will be the value is y square minus 4y plus 4 right and this equation will become y square minus 3y plus 3 this is a function here correct Yes. Okay. Yes. So how, how to minimize this function then? No, sir, which which function is this? This is a distance formula only, right? I didn't yes. do anything different. This is uh, okay. See, this was a zero comma two point, right? And I need to find the closest point on this surface. Suppose this is y square. Sorry, y equals to x square plus one. This is not a y equals to x square plus one, but I'm just saying that this is the kind of surface. Uh, which I wanted to find the distance. So, okay. So, there are a lot of points here, right? So, these red points are this point are the points over this surface. I need to find the minimum distance uh, between this. But first of all, I need to find what is the formula of distance, right? So, suppose all these points represent x comma y. So, I just take, I have just taken this distance formula as x minus zero, right? What is the distance between x comma y and uh, zero comma two? Uh, it is uh, x square plus uh, yes no. whatever you have written yes sir x minus zero square plus y, y minus, minus two square plus right two. so this is root of this that will give me the distance between these points right yes, uh, but now uh, uh, so to make the calculations easier what I have done is I have make a I have done the square root, square of this square root so this will yes. become what x square plus y minus two the whole square right now yes. uh, but this function is in uh, two variables so what i have done here is i have just plug in the value of x square into this function to make this into single variable okay we can do that right because uh, anyway this uh, this point x y is on what this curve right this this curve mm -hmm. so uh, anyway this point will satisfy the equation of this curve so i can use that now this function will become y equals to y square minus 3 plus y3 uh, y square minus 3y plus 3 and i need to minimize this distance so how to do that so i'll just make f dash of y equals to 0 right okay to find to find the points which are closest here so this f dash of y equals to 0 uh, so what will be the f dash of y? It will be two y two y minus three, three, which is equals to zero. So that means y equals to what? Three by two. Three by two, right? Uh, so uh, this three by two, okay? Y equals to three by two. I got y equals to three by two. That means one point five. And I, what I'll do uh, to f get x now? Um, y. I'll just go, so suppose this is equation one. I'll just uh, simply plug in the value of y in this equation. So this will be give me so y equals to x square plus one. So x square will be equals to y minus one, right? And now x square will be equals to three by two minus one, which is 
point five right x square equals to point five so x will be what plus minus root of point five correct right so can you just tell me what is uh, root of point five It is. Uh, I think it is. Plus point zero seven. Plus minus zero point seven zero seven. So I'll get two points here. Which are those two points? One is point seven zero seven and one point five. This one point and minus point. Right. And these are the points which are closest to this zero 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 uh, zero comma two, and this is how we have to solve, right? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, after that, I think somebody has asked me to solve the problem from mock. Sir, I had a question, sir. Sir, can you please write the formula of PC uh, PC no, production I, and PC. What I'll what I'll do is maybe I'll solve one problem on PC itself. Okay. Uh, no sir, the exact. Sir, formula. only formula, sir. Sir, can you please write only formula PC and the projected variance, sir. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, data should not have mean uh, one one. Hmm? And uh, the condition is data should not have mean one one, sir. Mean that. No, uh, whatever it be, maybe it's not a problem, right? Like I, I don't. Know. Uh, in some cases, that. Uh, uh, ah, so, so that one term will get cancelled out because of that, right? X bar. Uh, so basically, uh, we have seen like two or three problems in some uh, practice assignments and graded assignment, and uh -huh. there uh, uh, we saw that that uh, that uh, extra term is not written, and we get confused over that. No, uh, don't follow that one. That's what I I think I have. Uh, uploaded one uh, solution, right? Weeks on uh, weeks on solve with us. The document is there. Yeah, sir. So just follow that document. Uh, whatever the formula is given there, I'll, I'll just show you uh, that one. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Sir, what is the seven is not uploaded, sir? I have asked them. Okay, I have asked them actually. So it, yesterday only I have given to him. He said he has already uh, you know uploaded, but I think he didn't make it public. So uh, just before this session, I, I had a call with them. So he'll upload it within some time. Okay. okay Week seven, uh, great assignment. Seven and eight. Eight is already there, right? Eight is there, I guess. Yeah, eight is there. Seven was not there, and uh, mock solution was not there. So both of the documents will be uploaded. Okay. okay. Uh, so what is the maximum area of a rectangle that can be inscribed in a in an ellipse of the equation? Uh, x square by two plus y square equals to one. Okay, okay. This uh, this is also I think uh, uh, we have seen we just, this kind of problems. Yeah, sir. Like same. same we question. discussed this, right? Like uh, I think you want to discuss this. Yeah, but I sir, yeah I think I have discussed this, but uh, okay. Uh, somebody asked. So, uh, do you want me to uh, do it again or like what's what's the issue here? Sorry. Available, then it is fine. I think last you were explaining it, I was not there. Actually, we have too many clashing sessions, sir. So, it is okay, very okay. important to attend every session. No, but I think uh, instructor sessions are not having clashes, right? Sorry, instructor sessions are not having clashes, right? Yes, they are. Uh, class clashes with what? Which Math. other and, huh? Maths and stats, maths and stats. So if you, if so you take a, she is direct diploma, sir. That's why. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay so for direct diploma students, okay. You guys can take MLF uh, while taking maths also. Huh? Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, so do you need me to uh, solve this or? Okay, maybe I'll give you the idea. Uh, if you didn't. Yes, uh, please solve this. Why, uh, sir? I I need to. Okay, I'll I'll give you because this kind of problems are not you know uh, very easily uh, graspable. So it's fine. We will do that. So what is the maximum area of a rectangle that can be inscribed in an ellipse of the equation? Okay, this is the ellipse. 
so uh, we'll try to visualize this first okay so what we wanted to find is uh, if there is an ellipse here Okay, suppose uh, this is ellipse uh, with uh, this uh, equation. So x square by 2. X square by 2 plus uh, y square. Y square equals to 1. Right? Uh, okay, so this is the equation of the ellipse. Now we wanted to, uh, so we wanted to uh, uh, have a rectangle inside this ellipse. So what, how many rectangles we can have? Like we can get any four points and uh, we'll try to, if you, if you try to join this, we'll get this kind of rectangles, right? Right? Or maybe this. Right, correct? So uh, we can get like, any number of rectangles but uh, which rectangle we are interested in where uh, the maximum area of the rectangle can be inscribed in an ellipse correct right so we wanted to find uh, those points of the rectangle such that the area of rectangle should be maximum right so yes, uh, what is the area of rectangle yeah, so uh, this, let's say this is some length and there is some breadth here. So generally this, uh, uh, it will be L into B is the area of the rectangle. But uh, if it is inside, then inside an ellipse, uh, what, what should be this equation of area then? So uh, it's like if I, if I wanted to have these points here and if I, uh, so what do you think? Like, uh, can I, can I get this equation in terms of X, Y or, uh, or maybe somewhere like I can generalize this statement. I guess sir, maximum length can be X and uh, breadth can be Y. Maximum length can be X. Uh, are you sure or it's, it's two X? X square by two. Sir, maybe make use of some trigonometry. Huh. So, okay, we can use the uh, the theta theta thing also, right? Like uh, parametric equation. Parametric equations or okay, but I, I I just wanted to go with the solution which is provided to you. So, as per the solution, uh, can you just tell me like uh, what is what is given in there, and we'll try to solve in that way, sir. So all of you saw this week at grade assignment, right? So, yeah. Sir, so, maybe you can make a diagonal in huh. the square itself. Okay. So one idea is maybe I'll just draw one uh, uh, again one more ellipse. Sorry. Sir, after this session, is it possible to give a brief intuition on why we use PCA? Uh, yes, okay, fine, I'll do that. Yeah. Sir, are you going to revise the concepts of week 7 and 8? Uh, if you want, I'll do that. Like I'll do it in a brief manner uh, because see PCA, I think I'll, what I'll do is PCA, I'll give you that uh, maybe uh, generalized thing. Uh, like wh why, why this? Okay. So the, the question is why this PCA is used. Uh, then we'll try to solve the problem on PCA. Okay. Uh, or maybe we'll see what are the steps involved in uh, solving PCA, right? For one dimensional PCA because we are not having uh, uh, the pca in like you know because we, it's it, it we cannot be solved uh, it cannot be solved mathematically or ma manually i'll say not mathematically manually that's why we are having only one dimensional pca in our uh, syllabus so we'll see that procedure how to reach to the solution 
and uh, i think there are there is a confusion between the students right uh, which of the formula we should use and yes. if uh, the the if the mean vector is different what we should do or something like that so we'll try to cover uh, those or uh, try to solve those doubts and then if you want i'll just uh, uh, g- give you the summary of wicket wicket is not a big uh, problem okay maybe half an hour is enough for me to revise the concepts in wicket fine okay so suppose okay if i uh, one one uh, thing was that i i should do this uh, i should have this diagonal here then in label that angle is theta any one of the angle hmm. make it theta hmm. okay then you could represent uh, represent this l and b in forms of theta and the same you can do with ellipse also yes sir the parametric coordinate he is telling sir a cos theta b so so okay so if this is a theta right and this is an ellipse so uh, what will be this point the point here just a second hmm. sir the diagonal point you are telling yeah so or or uh, or what you, what will be the length then okay if you wanted to give me the length that's fine or we can actually get like all four points but okay how you are going to approach that's just wanted to tell me mm, yes sir so i i approached it by a cos theta comma b sin theta form what is a then a is what a, a is the sir mm, x square axis on the x square root denominator 2. of x square yes sir yes sir okay so uh, you just basically you have used this uh, thing so this x square by a square plus y square by b square Mm. equals yes. to one right this is uh, right. the general equation of ellipse right and this a you are used to get the parametric uh, equations right so this will be what this point will be a cos theta a cos theta and b sin theta b sin theta right mm. okay what what about this point sir coordinate will change A, this minus b sin theta, right? Yes, yes, sir. Similarly, all the points. Right, and here, uh, what will be this? Point? Minus a. Minus a cos theta. B sin. Uh, plus b sin theta, and this will be this point will be minus a cos theta minus b minus sin. Minus b sin theta. Okay, correct. Okay. Now. what will be the area now i think because this length okay now this uh, area area of the rectangle rectangle will be l into b right so what will be the length 2a cos theta right 2a cos theta right because these are the two points right a cos theta mm-hmm. and minus a cos theta so that length uh, will be what the distance between a cos theta and minus a cos theta right and that yes. will be 2a cos theta sin theta cos theta why sin theta okay so you are just talking about length ha huh. correct okay, right yeah correct and what about b uh, uh, what is like breadth 2b sin theta. theta so it will be 2b sin theta sin right theta. okay now uh, this will become 4ab sin theta cos theta okay what what this is the area of the rectangle now uh, what will be the next step now sir if we, if we do it is easy Different differentiate uh, is it right 2ab sin 2 sin theta cos theta is it ha ah, that is fine right because uh, this uh, 2a cos theta sin theta you you can make it as uh, sin 2 theta right Ah yes, sir. it is easy to differentiate. Sir. Ah fine, it's okay. So you can do anyway. Like okay, so I'll do that. Uh, maybe two ab sine two theta. Two theta. And I'll use uh, that property. So what I have done here is uh, 
जनरल फॉर्मूला फॉर मैक्स एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इन इलिप्स दैट इज टू एवी करेक्ट करेक्ट सो करेक्ट राइट सो एनीवे हां सो दिस एरिया इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ थीटा सो इफ आई वांटेड टू मैक्सिमाइज इट व्हाट शुड आई हैव टू डू आई शुड हैव टू इक्वेट इट टू जीरो राइट राइट सर बट हियर इन दिस केस दिस इज नॉट नीडेड हां yeah but uh, because you know it already we have you have no, learned no. it ha uh. sin 2 theta will range from minus 1 to 1 okay so sin theta's maximum value will give me the maximum value for okay, okay fine the, that the okay that is also fine yeah that is also fine because sin 2 theta the, it can be uh, so that is correct but if if you wanted to go by that way also it is uh, that is also fine if you Okay, sir. Use this uh, formula, but yeah, okay. But sine theta can because it's two theta, so the maximum area which we can get is what? Area minus is equals one to one. So maximum area will be two ab. Two ab. Two ab, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. And what is a here? A is two, two. and b is one. And Correct. theta is pi by two. Uh, by by four. No, a is I think root two, right? Is the equation of Phillips, right? Yes, root two, root two, right? So yeah, so uh, a will be root two. But I I don't need theta now, right? Because if you are saying that if it is maximum, uh, I don't need yes, theta, right? Correct. So two a b will be two root uh, two, root two, and yeah. that will be the answer. That is what I am saying. If you wanted to do that. Uh, Uh, that sine theta, how this comes? Okay, I'll, maybe I'll do that. So this m dash of theta equals to zero, right? So I'll okay. We'll we'll direct. We we should not do. If you guys understand this, it's fine. Otherwise, I'll just uh, do it m dash of theta. So it will become two ab. Uh, this constant, right? And what is sine theta? What is the differentiation of sine two theta? Two cos two theta. Right. Cos two theta equals to zero. Ah, uh, so that means cos two theta equals to zero, right? Because this four ab is constant, so cos two theta is zero. Now, ah, uh, two theta will be what? Ah, uh, ninety degree, right? Ninety so or actually, ah, uh, ninety or one eighty, right? Or yes. Fine. So I'll uh, maybe I'll go with ninety degrees. So theta will be equal to what? Forty five degrees. Degree. So at forty five degree, uh, so that means theta equal to forty five. Sine ninety will be equal to one. One. Right. And that means uh, area area the maximum area will be equal to two ab. Right. Because sine two into forty five. So at at forty five degree, I'll get. Uh, uh, This, uh, uh, but here it should be nine. It shouldn't be ninety degree actually. It should be pi What? because yeah. uh, 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 pi by two because we are dealing with in radians. So two uh, theta equals to pi by two. So theta will be equals to pi, pi. by four. So the area, the maximum area will be equals to two ab sine of two into pi by four, which is two ab. Sine pi by two, right? Yes. Sine sine pi by two is equals to one. one. So that's why my area will be equals to two ab. That is the maximum area. And a is equals to root two from the equation of ellipse, and b is equals to one. And if I plug in those values, I'll get a equals to two root two. And two root two is equals to two into I think it's one. Okay, you just do the calculations. I will get the answer. 
Okay. Uh, what is the other question? PC uh, will have the problem, right? Sir, uh, I have a question from previous year. If you allow me, I uh, can. Okay. Uh, okay. So I am uh, giving the paper link. Okay, sir. Yeah, I just pasted it in chat box. So I have the doubt in question one forty seven. Question number one forty seven, sir. Given the following information about a four by two matrix A, the characteristic uh, polynomial of A transpose A is this. Eigenvectors of uh, A transpose is uh, is uh, this one. Okay. Okay. So this is SVD form, right? You are able to see the SVD form here. Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, then, if uh, this is the SVD form, then if I wanted to find matrix A, what will be the matrix A? It will become U. Sigma, we yeah. transpose right. Yes, sir. So U is what? It's a uh, eigen. It is a, a matrix of eigenvectors of vectors of A transpose right. And V transpose is the matrix of eigenvectors of A transpose A. So transpose of this matrix. Ha. Huh. So that is okay. Yeah. It's like okay. Uh, okay. You were telling about V. About V. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So uh, and I I think I have given the information about everything. Sir, so, is it not the other way around? U is U A T A. A transpose A is A transpose A are the eigenvectors of what? Matrix U or uh, okay. I thought no, it I was uh, what given for A transpose A. Okay, I I'll also get confused a lot of times. Okay, so I, I think <laughs> yeah. U is for I think That's U is A T A. U is okay. Fine. Because the way I remember it is, who uh, Ata? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I I like I will generally forget this transpose sign this size. Okay, I'll just check once. So you corresponding to. Sir, is it Sir, not the same thing same both? No, no, no. They are not same. Sir, but eigenvectors for a a transpose a transpose a will be same, right? No, eigen values are same. No, no, eigen values are same. That means singular values are same. But uh, this thing is not there. eigen value. Eigen vectors are different, right? Because the last session, who took the revision session only? Ha, huh. Shubham. In him, he mentioned something that uh, it is same and. No, 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 no. Maybe that is. No, uh, I, I, the diagonal matrix eigen values are same. Ha, huh. this is same. This is same. The eigen values of both this U and V are same, but uh, eigen vectors are not same. Okay, okay. So I think uh, this is correct. Eigen vectors of A transpose A are for U. So what is given here already? Q one and Q two are the eigen vectors of uh, A transpose A, right? Corresponding to this lambda forty eight and for uh, twelve. So I'll just yeah. uh, write down this U. What will be the U then? One by root two. One by root two and one by root two. Okay, two and that's one by root two and minus one by root two. Okay. And you can uh, you can easily uh, find out the another mat actually another vector you know right because if you have one vector uh, this this the vectors of uh, the eigen vectors of this u will always be orthogonal right yes sir. because this is a transpose is a symmetric matrix and if you have the Uh, normalized vectors, normalized uh, eigen vectors of U, then they should always be uh, orthogonal to each other. Yeah. And if you can see here itself directly, yeah. so uh, this is very easy to identify. And this lambda, so lambda is forty eight, and uh, la la so this is the maximum eigen value, and lambda is twelve, uh, which is the minimum one. Yes. So this will be uh, okay. So one Ooh. more thing. A transpose. Okay, if A transpose A will be, if A is four by two matrix, then what what were the dimensions of A transpose A? Two. So it will be this two cross four, four cross two. Four cross two. Two cross two. Two cross two. But what are the dimensions of A transpose? Four cross four. Four by four. Four cross four. Right. So what will be the dimensions of sigma here? Sigma four by two. 
It should be four by four by it should be two by four, right? Yes, sir. This comes on the right side. Two by two comes on the right side. Two by two comes on the right, right side. Uh, so that's what I told you, right? So this is <laughs> so this is the uh, x equals to yes. See, I think it's better to you can understand. So if it is my my matrix A is four cross two, that means this the dimensions of U should start with four. They don't yeah. get this four. Yes. So I think this this is not right. Yes, yeah, sir. Exactly. I was remembering like V equals to Q one, Q two. We used to write. Yeah. So actually, I generally find out by this only the dimensions of the matrix. That's why I don't remember this uh, transfer sign. So I think this is the matrix V. That right. Mean right side. Yeah. So uh, okay. So in that case. If this is four cross two, the diagonal matrix should be two cross four, right? Four. Oh. This is four cross two. Okay. So two cross four means two rows. So two rows are root of lambda one, yes. which is forty-eight. Yeah. And here root uh, twelve. It's root twelve. And uh, other so this is other is zero, right? Yes. I think this should this will look like this maybe diagonal matrix right okay uh, and what about here it is uh, one by root two but it is transpose right so it's one by root two uh, here one by root two again if it's same yes. shouldn't the one in the middle be uh, so four, four cross two, two right four cross two should be right. Yes. The last one should be two by two. The st uh, starting one should be uh, uh, four by four. The middle one should be four by two. Okay, this is four by four. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, this yes. So this should be not. It shouldn't be like this. It should be four cross two. Zero 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 zero. Okay. Right? The remaining eigenvalues are zero. Okay. Ah, uh, correct. Correct only. Because this is four cross four. This should be four cross two, and this should be Two cross two. Then only I'll get uh, the matrix yes. four cross four two. Cross two. Okay. Then okay, I got this. This is what sigma. This is v. V transpose. What about u now? U is four cross two. Four cross four, right? Uh, yes. But we have the. Okay, what is this? It's a q one. A q one. Yes, sir. The okay. Value and a multiplication. Multiplication of a q one and a q two. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, there is. I think there is one uh, uh, dependence is there between, uh, or I think, uh, can I get directly? Sir, if a you divide by sigma, sigma direct formula y one. Sorry. Yes, exactly. If you divide, by sigma, we'll get the. Oh, so one 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 percent. Okay. One. We'll get q one if we just divide uh, this by. The root of the uh, the eigenvalues. Yeah. You get what Q one Q one is already yes. Y one. Yes. Y one. No, 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 no so the root of eigenvalues root of eigenvalues yes so uh, what are the uh, what are the it's already there i guess i think it in one of the uh, i don't know i don't remember it but i think one of solve with us only we are having that formula i haven't taken that but uh, it's already there that uh, uh, what do you say uh, it's, it's something like sir a av equals to sigma yes, u yes 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 so that is that is how you have started now yes uh, av equals to uh, u sigma yeah that was our, our uh, initial so if i wanted to have uh, u what should I, what should i have to do uh, we have Where to divide uh, sigma this side yeah inverse oh sorry not here here right then i'll get u yes. correct right yeah so this is how you are actually doing so it's not a different uh, thing you will get it uh, directly so okay can you just tell me the values then if i done it already or Uh, for for AQ, one, one by ah. root six. Okay. So it's so this will be four cross four, four na. But yeah. uh, I think uh, 
uh, okay tell me tell me the values first then uh, 4 root 2 4 by root 2 1 by root 6 sir 4 by root 2 is this aq1 right yes i wanted u1 okay. 1 by root 6 1 by root 6 root 6 huh then 2 by root 6 hmm then 0 and 1 by root 6 hmm. but how will you get the 4 4 cross 4 matrix uh, sir this can is for the first out. vector only na no? ha right this is for first vector then Second one will be? Uh, uh, sir, can you please uh, tell me again how this came? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll tell you. So, uh, you know that we have, actually, if you, uh, we had that singular value decomposition, uh, I think one of the sessions I have just mentioned, right? We are actually wanted, so there are two vector spaces, uh, or not vector spaces. One is row space and one is, uh, another is column space. If, if I have two vectors in, uh, column space so row space and i wanted to project it into the uh, column space how will i do that and with that discussion only we have started uh, to have this to get this uh, av v is in where row space right v is in row space so I, if if i have a into v uh, I, i'll get u into sigma so if i if i if i if i can able to do this then i'll be get, i'll be able to get the orthogonal basis in the column space you remember this or okay maybe i'll try to show you let's say let's say we have a two uh, we have an orthogonal basis in row space okay so let's say we have two vectors here which are orthogonal to each other. So this is V1. Okay. This is V2. And both of them are what? Orthogonal to each other. Uh, this is in row space. Okay. Uh, I wanted to find, uh, I wanted to transform this two into uh, column space uh, by performing an uh, operation which is like multiplying a matrix A such that in a row space okay I, I'll get two vectors such that uh, I'll get uh, u1 and u2 which are orthogonal to each other uh, and such that they should be so, so u1 should be equals to uh, Okay, uh, this is u1, suppose this is u2, and okay. So u1 will be equals to a v1. Okay, I wanted this kind of uh, arrangement there, and u2 will be this. Okay, this is a row space, this is a column space. Okay, u1 is, uh, I, I'll get u1 such that uh, it's a, uh, if I do a matrix multiplication there. Uh, with the vector so a is multiplied to v1 so it's kind of a ma matrix a here is an operator so if i operate a on v1 i'll get u1 and if i operate a on v2 i'll get u2 and such that these two u1 and u2 are orthogonal in column spaces okay but uh, this is uh, so it can be stretched anywhere right so i to make this normalize what we do is we just multiply these values with singular value so sigma 1 u1 equals to a1 v1 and if i i have started that discussion and then we uh, get this so a okay uh, this v1 v1 v2 i put into one matrix and this becomes v okay this is in row space and uh, this will become sigma sorry u sigma because this is a multiple generate so, uh, so sir there is something called left singular value and right singular value can you explain that also okay we will come to that see it's not okay. uh, left singular and the right singular right so that uh, this, this is the nomenclature given to it right okay it's okay it's, it's uh, not a difficult thing to explain that too but think about left this values are left singular right values are right yes. singular, middle values are singular values 
Uh, right, no? Uh, okay, so that is not an important discussion right now. Uh, what is the imp what is the important discussion here is okay so a v will be equals to u sigma right now uh, if i wanted to find uh, u what sh what should i uh, have to do or if i wanted to find a what we have done here let's make a sigma v inverse right if I multiply V inverse both the sides here and here, what will happen? I'll get A, right? Because this A and V, 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 V into V inverse becomes I, right? And this will become U sigma V inverse. But since uh, you, uh, w w can I write V inverse oh, as V oh, transpose? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was on mute. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I was saying. What what I was on mute, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, you sigma v transpose is uh, fine. Yes, it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this uh, this can become uh, uh, v transpose. These are, orthogonal, uh, these are orthogonal basis, right? Yes, so v it can become v transpose. So yeah. a can be written as u sigma v transpose, and this is a SVD form. Right, that we are actually generally we know this. This is a SVD form. Yes, sir. But this same SVD form I can use to uh, get the vectors of. Uh, so currently in our case, we have the eigenvectors of v, right? Yes, or, or, or sorry, the, the sorry, sorry, we have the eigenvectors of uh, a transpose v, 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 right? And that, is, that has become v, the matrix v. v. So can I use this uh, relation? A equals to u sigma. So what did you write before the SVD form? See, this is okay. We wanted what what we wanted here. What is the transformation? This transformation I have written here. A V. Okay. This okay. A V. This entire thing I can I have written into to matrix form. A into V. Right? Okay. This V1 and V2 I have written as V uh, A into V. And this okay. sigma one U1, sigma two U2, I, I can write in this format, U into sigma. So this is this is what I wanted, right? Yes, to sir. We can get whatever. If if I have an orthogonal basis in row space, and if I wanted to transform uh, that orthogonal basis into column space, such that I to I need to find the orthogonal basis in column space, I need to find a matrix A such that this will happen, right? Hmm. Correct. So this is theoretically we wanted this kind of arrangement. Understand? Now, yes, uh, if I so then what i uh, so if i uh, if i wanted this to happen this is this this is what this is what i wanted to know so so that i need to find a okay but uh, then a v and v inverse if i multiply v inverse this side i'll get what this this kind of format right and this v v inverse is what identity matrix yes sir. correct so a into i is a basically yes. So A will become U sigma V inverse. inverse. But and since V inverse, uh, the, the vectors v inside are, uh, they are, uh, this is same as V transpose. That's why I get this this format, U V, U sigma V transpose. This is SVD form. Yes. Now I so use the inverse same. and transpose thing is happening because of the orthogonal and orthonormal. Thing. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Okay. So now I, A into V. Here, uh, this okay. Space so, and column space. I'm un unable to understand. Uh, okay. So, but I think uh, view, view. not uh, like that much important here. Just huh. this relation is important. A V equals to U sigma. Okay. Because now, if I wanted to uh, like uh, row space and column space, then this discussion will get like much longer. So currently, this is not needed. So. so Think about this: that there are two vectors in some vector space. Understand? There is a vector space. Sir, there are two I, vectors. Sir, can I try to explain it like in a very small way? Yeah, sure. sure. Sir, like if sir, if if we have like a plane, right, and mm -hmm. we have we have two lines, any two lines, and we stretch them across the plane. That is like a that is those two lines are making a space. Now, if those two lines are perpendicular to each other they are forming a space which is something like 
uh, these lines are forming, right? We are calling them a space because if we stretch these lines in these, uh, if and the, they will end with generating the entire plane. So any even the eigenvalues we find, they are eigen uh, the eigen vectors we find are actually eigen spaces, which we take only any one of those uh, whatever uh, is is satisfying the entire space. We can take any one, and then we are using it. Right. So the, the space is nothing. It's just that we are taking two vectors, which are the the eigen vectors at least, uh, and and these basically uh, these uh, uh, perpendicular vectors. They are kind of uh, something which we can use to build the entire plane with. Okay. So right. So okay. Fine. So uh, currently we are having some two vectors in one plane. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, there are two vectors here in this plane. We wanted to transform into uh, so okay. So you have to go through you know linear algebra basics again. So the transformation and everything. So you'll get to know there. Okay, so here basically uh, we wanted to find this right this relation a v equals to u sigma. But now if I I have a currently uh, and uh, or maybe okay in this case what is what is our case in this question. Where is that question? Uh, okay, here I think. Yes. So, so I have uh, the vectors v, right? Yes. Because these are the vectors corresponding to uh, a transpose a and this uh, sigma eigenvalues. So, if I wanted to get uh, u, what should I have to do? It is uh, a. You have to take uh, that sigma that side. Right. So this is a. Uh, and how how to get the sigma this side? Uh, sir, so we can divide. Uh, that means multiply with the inverse, right? Yes. On both the sides. Currently, this right side. So this will become i, right? Yeah. So this will become a v sigma inverse. maybe sigma inverse. Okay. Yes. And this will give me u yeah. basically, but sigma is what? It's a diagonal matrix, right? Yes, sir. So what will be its inverse? It will be same, I guess. Zero zero. If this is uh, a diagonal matrix, uh, in that case, what will be the inverse of it? It will be same, correct, right? Yes. Sir. So uh, this will become this only. Is it correct or no? Yes. Sir. Others are, uh, is this making sense until this point? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm assuming that everybody is understanding this point. Uh, so, A V sigma is equals to U. So, currently, this what is A into Q1 is giving me what? This part, this part, right? So, sigma inverse, uh, you write it as sigma, A V sigma. Huh. Right, what is it? Sorry. Inverse of diagonal matrix is uh, that. Sir, yeah, sir, A V sigma. Uh, you write it. Uh, A V sigma inverse. Sigma inverse. We multiply both the side. Huh. Here is I. We get huh. the U on. on this sigma. This sigma inverse. I can write as sigma because uh, the, the the what is what is the inverse of this? So if Let's say if any diagonal matrix is what is the diagonal matrix? Okay, sir, it is similar to diagonal. Yeah, but okay, maybe there is one change, right? Like I think if I wanted to find, let's say A is this diagonal matrix, what is its inverse? So first of all, what is the determinant of it? Determinant A B. A B. A B. Okay. Uh, to find A inverse, what I need to do? Determinant of A into. Okay. The cofactor matrix, right, and the yes. you know, the transpose of the cofactor matrix, and I think that will be what B. Hmm? B sir B. No, B zero zero A. Yes sir. Sorry, but finally this will become this, right? Yes. Sorry, it's not this. Oh. 
sir it is b00a okay b00a yeah. okay okay yes okay. sir yes okay so this is b00a okay yeah. okay yeah. and it will get divided and again the same matrix will come hmm. we get the a inverse this is what this a inverse yeah. right yes sir so, no this is not a inverse this is a cofactor matrix na no? This whole is inverse. But we divided by the determinant. Can we get the A inverse? This is A inverse. Yes. Okay. So uh, then is it, it's not the same as of A, right? No, sir. It will be same as a, a, a determinant of A is A B, right? And that ah, will determinant of A is A B. Okay. Right. That a, will multiply inside and get a B B get cancelled and it will again come. It will be one by A, right? One by yes. A. Yes. It will be yes. one by A. Yes. It will be one by A. It's not the same, sir. There's something missing, I guess. One by A. How come? B by A B, sir. B by A B is what? Uh, A. One by one A. Ah, uh, sorry, one by A. Okay. It's one by A, and this is uh, one by B, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this will be. Uh -huh. So I didn't get how you wrote A B sigma inverse equals to U sigma sigma inverse. Which one? This one. Yes, this sir. Yes, sir. This, this part is easy, right? Okay. This part yeah, I will just. Right. We multiply sigma inverse. Just we get the U. Okay. Uh, so sir, A B. Okay. Well, okay. U. Sigma. Okay. You are doing it to the A B equals to U sigma equation. Ah, so A A B equals to U sigma is the equation, right? This is the equation, right? The SVD. Uh, when we started the SVD discussion, this was my equation. This is the transformation equation, right? Now, if I uh, wanted something, uh, so what should I do? Like, if I multiply the sigma inverse on both the sides, what will happen? Sigma into sigma, sigma inverse will be I. Huh. Yes, sir. So this A V sigma inverse will become U. U. Right? Is this yes, okay? Sir. Yes. So okay, but then I'll keep this uh, sigma inverse yes, as sigma. Yes, we we multiply the a into a inverse, we get the identity matrix. Ah, okay. Yes. So now, uh, okay, then I I'll not. So since I know that uh, this is something is not. Yes, uh, it will be. It will come like this only. Okay. So that means what you can understand is the sigma inverse matrix will be a diagonal matrix. The only thing is the 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 diagonal matrix will be reciprocal. Uh, Ha, huh, reciprocal of it, right? Okay. Yes. So in that case, if I uh, and this is what a q in a q one and a q two will form one matrix, right? Yes. Uh, and that that is what that is which matrix? Uh, A V matrix. A V matrix. Or yes. Uh, basically, V is basically q one and q two, right? So. So we multiply. Multiplying uh, a with q one and q two, it will give me a v. Yes. Correct. Right. Yeah. Ah, so this A V one actually. Uh, so this is formed by this A Q one and A Q two. Yes. And I need to multiply with sigma inverse. Sigma inverse, and that will give me A U. So now yes. you have U, you have okay. V, and, have and you have sigma also. S V D. Sigma also. Then you can form that S V D matrix, and you will get the yes. matrix. Got it, sir. Thank so, you. sir, I have to show yeah. that there is yes. only two uh, eigen vectors. Love A V A Q one. So how to get the four cross row matrix? So you think about it, no? Okay. Huh? So try, see, yes. uh, you try, try to multiply this, and see if you, you you just take it out first of all. Like what what you will get from this? You will get u one. So okay, maybe we can. Other one. It's like a a is four cross four, and v is that yes. I guess. Uh, what yeah, is two sigma? Two. What is sigma? Sigma here. The sigma is root forty-eight. Ah, uh, four root forty and. But, but, uh, but okay, so we had a. Okay, I think we we started this session somewhere. I don't know where it is. Ah, here. So a is u, right? Uh, so a u sigma we transpose. So what was the? What was sigma? Four cross two, right? Yes, sir. What is uh, sigma inverse? Uh, it will be also four cross two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, one basic 
one question here so i mean the question they have given uh, a q1 right so to we have to find u1 and u2 or probably u3 and u4 as well so u1 will be a q1 by sigma 1 right uh, the, which is i mean actually a by sigma, this, single this matrix right okay this matrix right this four okay let's say this is giving me four cross uh, or uh, four cross two matrix right yes yeah, so that will but, be but, but this will be what That this is four cross two, two, two cross four. Two. Oh yeah, two cross two, two cross four. And then this, if you multiply this, you'll get four cross four. Four cross four matrix. Okay, understand? You you okay. just check check it out. You'll get it. You'll okay. get the four cross four matrix. Okay, so because they have given two values, so we'll directly take yes. that two values and then put it here. Okay. Yeah, I think. See, I think you should. If you are very confused with this, right? Uh, in the solve with this document, I think it is. Uh, there is y one and this u uh, one, right? I, I don't know. There is some... yes. Uh, I'm seeing the solve with us. Uh, there is a uh, two lambda is equal to zero. Ha. Uh -huh. So, so uh, you will get that uh, equation. You need not to go through this. But I think see if you know the basics, you can do like this this way. What sir, can sir? But this this method is like very time. Not method. Yeah, sir. Like in exam, it will take a lot of time. time. Yeah, it was there in the previous exams. Yeah, it was in May May term. Yes, but one or the two questions will be tougher, right? So yes, yeah. sir. Also, uh, one uh, one fifty number question of the same paper. Oh, okay, one fifty. Yes, yeah, sir. If you just uh, tell me how to uh, so uh, get that eigen values. One fifty is what uh, D. Okay, consider the data set D. What is the first principal component and the direction corresponding to largest eigen vector eigen value of the covariance matrix? Th this question you wanted to solve, na? Huh? Yeah, sir. X two becomes zero in that. So I don't know how. Ah, to... okay, okay. I'll I'll do that. So this is a PCA problem. Yeah, sir. So, okay. Uh, also... Since we are discussing PCA, what I'll uh, do is maybe I'll try to tell you what is the idea behind PCA. Right? What What does this do? PCA generally that will go from Uh, higher dimensions probably let's say you have a data set uh, of d cross d okay and pc will do what uh, it will create a new dimension that will be like uh, lower d dimension cross uh, d dash cross d dash so d here d is greater than d dash okay so that means you will uh, reduce the dimensions so that you can uh, view the data better but how how do you reduce the dimensions that is also the question right yes sir So how do, how we can reduce the dimensions is uh, we will project the data on the eigen vectors. Okay, and okay. So let's say you have this plane, okay, this x y plane, and you have uh, the eigen vector plane which is let's say u one and u two. Okay, so whatever data is there in x y plane, you try to project it on this two u uh, one and u two. And this projection will uh, give me what? It will be the combination of vectors. So let's suppose there are some vectors in this plane, okay? Or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just take a projection on this uh, and on this uh, eigen vector plane and and corresponding to the maximum eigen values, so that I'll get the combination of the vectors. Combination of the vectors of the original dimensions, okay, and that too on the uh, different eigen. Values. So this eigen uh, eigen vector plane, right? That is a reduced uh, dimensions. You, are you understanding the point? Maybe I'll, I'll show you. Yes, there is a document there. Uh, I will show you from that also. But it's generally what you do is you will just project the data from uh, one. Uh, let's say this d cross d dimensions are there we just try to project it on to some other dimensions but the way to do it is find the principal directions the principal directions are given by eigen values right eigen vectors yes and we try to project this uh, the data in the original dimension which is on the higher side on to the lower dimensions which are uh, the this dimensions are given by Uh, eigen vectors. So these principal directions are given by the eigen vectors. Okay. 
so uh, okay so now let's discuss this question i'll i'll, I'll try to give you uh, the insights into this principal components also but first of all i'll try to solve this question so in, we uh, in our syllabus we are having uh, one dimensional pc only so this is uh, these are the dimensions so data set is given as what is it my I'll write one okay i'll write x1 x2 x3 huh? yes x1 is minus 1 1 and x2 is 0 1 0 1 and x3 is 1 1 1 okay fine so what is my mean vector x bar it will be 0 and 1 0 and 1 okay what is covariance matrix it's 1 by 3 uh, okay covariance matrix i'll write it as like uh, maybe the generalized equation i'll write is 1 by n uh, summation of x Function I will go from one to let's say n minus x, uh, x bar into x i minus x i minus x bar x bar transpose, right? Yes. Sir. So uh, so here in this case it's one by three, okay? X i is x one minus x bar transpose. So what is x one minus x bar minus one minus minus one minus zero is minus one. And one minus one is zero. Zero, and uh, the transpose of this vector is zero. zero. Here, x two minus x bar. So zero minus zero, zero. zero. One minus one is zero. zero. So this is zero zero. Plus x three minus x bar, uh, which is one minus zero is one, and one minus one is zero. Okay. Uh, yes. And if I do the calculations, so this will become four cross, uh, sorry, two cross two matrix, which is one zero 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 plus zero 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 plus one zero zero zero. Okay. Uh, so then it's one by three. Uh, two zero zero zero. Two zero zero zero. Two zero zero zero. Okay. Is a covariance matrix. I want if I wanted the next step is what I need to find Eigen -value. eigenvalues of this matrix. So what I'll do is generally what I do is I just don't consider this one by three uh, initially while calculating the eigenvalues. You can do it. It's not a problem. But okay, uh, in this case if I do it because it's easier here, it's two by three zero 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 right. And uh, to find the eigenvalues of the matrix, what should I do? C minus lambda. C minus equals lambda. A. So the, the determinant of this is equated to zero. So this determinant will be two minus three minus lambda zero zero minus lambda, right? Yes. This is C minus lambda i. Okay. So determinant will be two by three minus lambda into minus lambda minus zero equals to zero. Uh, then this will become. Uh, Minus two three two by three lambda plus lambda square equals to zero, which gives me lambda square equals to lambda. lambda will be zero and two by three. So which is the uh, highest eigenvalue here? Two by three. So uh, if I wanted to find u one, which is corresponding to u one is what the eigenvector corresponding to the highest eigenvalue. So I'll just put plug in the value here in the C minus lambda i and try to uh, try to solve this characterization, which is C minus lambda i times x equals to zero. zero. So two by three minus two by three is I'll replace lambda here by two by three, which is yes, zero zero. So this matrix becomes zero 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 minus two by three of x one x two equals to Zero. zero. Okay. So x two equals zero. So here uh, x two is zero, and then x one is also anything or anything. anything. X three, x one can be C. So my uh, eigenvector u one is one zero. C C is one basically and zero. So this actually uh, it should be C of this and the normalized one. The normalized u one is what? One zero only. Correct, right? The length is one, so this is fine. So this is the basis of that uh, vector. Okay. 
सर वाई एक्स टू इज नॉट सी वाई एक्स टू इज ऑल्सो नॉट सी X two, we okay. This equation we have got right. Okay. Uh, yes, so, sir. Like zero x one plus zero x two, right? Okay. Zero x one plus zero x two equals to zero. This is equation one. I am not getting any information out of this. But the second equation is zero x one minus two by three x two equals to zero. So from this, I am definitely sure that x two is equals to zero. Okay. So I cannot have x two equals to any c, right? Okay, sir. Sir, right? just a question here. In that uh, question, the fourth option. Is minus one zero. Yeah, minus one zero is not possible, no? Is it, is it possible? C C can be anything, right? Is it uh, possible? Uh, okay. So uh, the the direction corresponding to the, so generally the direction we are considering is normalized one, right? Min minus one zero is also normalized, right? Yeah, I, minus one zero also is yes. You are saying correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Then I think minus one zero should be also the answer. Because that that also we cannot because c can be anything, so basically c can be minus one zero also, right? The, these two are not possible definitely. Yeah, d should be correct. Sir, but by direction here, do do we not mean the positive direction? No, no, it's it's not like that. It's any c of this, right? No, but in the question it is given the direction corresponding to the largest. Ha, huh, direction corresponding to. Like this, this direction is not uh, like one zero like and in, minus one zero are the same good. direction. Right? Same direction. Yes, because these are the vectors, right? The minus yeah. one. This is the scaling factor only. Like how much you are scaling on that, but the direction is same only. Uh, ideally, it should be correct. So the option D also should be correct. Okay. Hmm. Sir, I have sent a PYQ in chat box. Could you please help me with question number one twenty five? Uh, then okay, yeah. So here, uh, uh, any issues are there? It's fine, right? Sir, can yeah, we no. just complete the PCA ones? So I'll just finish this. Yeah, sir. On right? on same, you can uh, take that. Because uh, the PCA is going on. Uh, link yeah. is maintained, right? Okay, so okay. Then I'll, I'll finish off this first. So, so this is the eigen vector corresponding to. Lambda equals to two by three. What about uh, lambda equals to zero? So my uh, matrix will become this one. So two by three minus zero is two by three. So this is two by three, zero, zero, zero of x one, x two equals to zero, zero. So from here I'll get. Equation two by two equation, which is two by three x one plus zero x two equals to zero. Equation one, zero x one plus zero x two equals to zero. Equation two. So from equation one, what I'm getting, x one equals to zero, right? Just from one, correct? Uh, so my I and x two now x two can be in C, right? So u two will be what? Zero one. Which is again the normalized eigen vector, right? Okay, so I have got uh, two things, which is u one, uh, which is corresponding to the largest eigen value, which is zero one. Sorry, one zero right? One zero, and u two is zero one, which is corresponding to lambda equals to zero. Until this point is fine. Yes. Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. Fine. So now uh, going forward, uh, I need to find the transform data points, right? So if I wanted to find transform data points, what I'll do is the next step should be so the transform data points will be given by uh, this x i tilde will be equals to uh, x i transpose u one of u one plus x bar transpose u two of u two. So you can uh, see here here. The variable is the variable i is uh, only uh, which is corresponding to u one, right? Here it is not changing. So this vector, this this entire vector, is going to be remaining the same for each of the data point we are going to calculate. So what I'm going to do is I'll just calculate this part so first. So if we have three vector u one, u two, and u three, then then it will become this x bar transpose u three of u three. Okay. okay. So only variable is here only u one because we are uh, dealing with one-dimensional PCA, right? 
because this is this is the principal component we are thinking about we are giving the more weightage to that component only okay now uh, x bar is what in our case uh, it was Minus zero one. one right zero one x bar mean vector uh, yes sir zero so i'll just calculate this part first so x x, x bar transpose is zero one and u1 u2 is 0, zero and if i or maybe i'll do this of u2 which is 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 uh, this is like 1 cross 2 this 2 cross 1 so i'll get only single value right this is a scalar and what is 1 so the final final thing is 0 1 right so this entire vector is going to be is 0 1 okay now i'll uh, try to find x1 tilde x2 tilde and x3 tilde and for that i need to find uh, these things right so first of all i'll try to find the projections which are x i transpose u1 okay so let's say alpha 1 is the first projection which is x1 transpose u1 so what is x1 the data point Go on minus one, one. Minus one, one, mm -hmm. right? Minus one, one. The transpose of this is minus one, one, and u one is one, one zero. Two. So this is minus one, right? What about uh, alpha two? These are the projections, okay? Because uh, then the calculation becomes very easy uh, while finding out the uh, x one tilde, x two tilde, and so on. So this is going to be x two transpose u one. What is x two? 0 1 0 1 and u1 one is 1 0 so it's basically 0 right uh, what about alpha 3 x2 transpose one x3 one. transpose u1 so what is x3 1 1 and uh, u1 is So, sir, this is uh, projection variance. No, sir. This is projection only, not okay. variance. Okay. The projected variance actually uh, given by the largest, uh, you know, eigenvalue. Okay. So, generally, why we do that is because uh, uh, largest eigenvalue is. Uh, uh, see if you see. Okay, then, then okay, that is going to be okay. Let uh, we'll, we'll discuss it maybe uh, somewhere later. Okay, so, uh, so you uh, write it to some x1 uh, transpose u1 whole square is uh, like sigma is equal that is that is variance variance calculations. Okay, uh, that is variance, variance, not projected variance. Projected variance calculation only. No, uh, if you do that, you'll get the uh, again the lambda one value. Okay, so ah, x1 yes, tilde yeah. is yeah. so alpha. This is alpha one u1 plus uh, i'll see I'll, I'll make this as some c this term as some vector c and which is 0 1 okay so c so alpha 1 is how much minus 1 of u1 u1 is 1 0 right 1 0 plus what is c 0 1 Zero. So this will become minus one zero plus zero one is equals to minus one one. So this is x one tilde. Okay, this is the transform data point. Uh, minus one one. And uh, what was the original data point? That was also minus one one. Okay. What about uh, x two tilde? Same. X two tilde is alpha two u two plus c but alpha 2 is 0 and hence this term becomes 0 plus c c is 0 c. so again i'll get the same uh, x2 uh, original data okay. what about x3 tilde is alpha 3 u3 plus c sir u3 or u1 oh sorry u1 okay here also u1 sorry 
thank you so this is alpha 3 u1 uh, so it is 1 times uh, 1 times uh, what is it 1 0 plus c is 0 1 so this is 1 1 it is same as original data points right yes. so all the transform data points i got same so what you can say that what is the reconstruction error then zero, zero. sir zero, what right? is the variance projected variance will be so the formula for projected okay what is the formula for reconstruction error it's one by n summation of uh, xi minus x bar x delta right yes and what about uh, the uh, this is the reconstruction error so you can see that reconstruction error in this case is belonging to uh, lowest eigenvalue right the value matches with the lowest eigenvalue and the projected variance value will match with the highest eigenvalue i see what is how to calculate sir yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show that. Somebody was waiting, so I guess. What about projected variance? Uh, okay, I'll just need to check the formula. Uh, what is projected variance is, uh, just give me. This is, this is a problem from PC, right? It's always the case that the reconstruction error is the lowest eigenvalue. Uh, that you cannot guarantee, uh, but uh, for some uh, special cases of X bar, right? This X bar transpose, you'll get that. Uh, that is not guaranteed. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but for uh, variance, right? You will get uh, most of the times you will get uh, this projected variance same as that of uh, yes. highest eigenvalue. So when you so, say okay. most of the time, is that not guaranteed either? So for projected variance, it is like almost always, right? Because always, yes. Because I'll tell you why. Because the formula for projected variance is this. 1 upon n, uh, xi transpose uh, u1 square, right? So here, there is no dependency on mean vector, right? x bar. Mm. And for calculation of reconstruction error, we have a dependency on what? So, summation of uh, uh, projected variance is equal to, uh, you wrote it earlier, so 1 by n sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi transpose u1 whole square. This one? Yes, sir. Uh, correct. This Sorry, you put minus also, no? There is a minus x bar transpose u. Where? Inside the bracket. Projected variance. Ah. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Projected x, variance. X sir, bar. There, right? I don't know where. It is there in the lecture yes. formulas. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, that is there. So, uh, okay. Again, that is assuming that uh, x bar. Okay. This is a formula where I assume that x bar is... Uh, zero right okay uh, this but here we don't have x bar equals to uh, or or that that x bar transpose u2 is not equal to zero right okay what is the formula there the final then there formula. is a minus huh. x bar transpose u then whole square the x whole square comes out u u u or nah. u uh, u2 u only it is given u only it is given you hi ah, yes sir it is quite confusing <laughs> and so yeah so... what is what is you the square has to go you. out the square has to go out which one okay the i'm not sure right now huh. uh, whole, square. whole square actually uh, yes this, this is like this uh -uh. Yes. Square, yes 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 okay x bar okay so generally basically the same you is... same you same you yes, sir. This one? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes, sir. Both U's are the same. No, no. That shouldn't be the case. That is the maximum uh, eigenvalues, eigenvector. U is the maximum eigenvector for both cases. Uh, that... Okay. 
okay maybe i'll, I'll just uh, revisit this okay but uh, i think we are making uh, simple things complicated yes so like let's okay. just enter the and directly formula. enter the value of uh, uh, the highest i can do it. okay but is this correct do this for to quiz no, this is correct this is correct in quiz 2 yeah. oh, there was a question with the and which asked about the project higher projected variance uh -huh. then the the eigen values were uh, 1 and 0.1 by 3 the answer we wrote was one, but it was it became wrong. In the mock, right? You are saying. Yeah, yeah. That, so is, that is that is yes, in mock, We also doing uh, this uh, from this formula. It is always that mock question oh, was taken uh, from the PYQ, is, and in the PYQ, the answer was uh, was uh, in the range which is basically one is correct. One minute. I'll, uh, that is why uh, for our uh, okay. So whatever is there in the mock, right? Uh, uh, do not review like. Uh, because I'm, I think one document I have given you. I'll just try to show. Ah, okay. Just follow this one for this quiz. Okay. The which document, sir? I'm. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Okay. Over here also, it's not given right. Okay, fine. Uh, uh okay maybe see i'll do one thing i'll just give you the formula projective variance later uh consider this as the final answer okay if mm -hmm. if at all it is in the quiz uh that mm -hmm. you have asked to find a projective variance do not use any other formula just uh, directly put the value of i guess uh, uh i can do that yeah right okay uh maybe I'll just uh, go through this once, okay, and I'll try to give you the correct formula for this. Sir, in like so the formula is also the addition of eigenvalues, right? There is one formula also the projected variance is the addition of eigenvalues. Which one? Which one? The addition so of I have. Uh, ah, yes, I yes. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, the correct. projected variance is the addition of eigenvalues. Correct, correct. But if it is right. uh, not one-dimensional PCA, so if it is. Uh, let's say you have five five cross five matrix, and if you wanted to project it on two cross two, then what you'll do is you'll take the sum of first two, the highest one, right? Okay, okay, yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah. So, so, yes, I one minute. I think uh, somebody has posted this one, right? This one more. Is question. that document that you shared? Huh. Here, uh, which question number? This is okay, right? Uh, until this uh, PC is final, right? How to solve that PC problem? So, where is that document that you shared right now? I think it is on the portal, uh, maybe under solve with the slides or something. Supplementary contents. Um, supplementary contents, I can see periodic slides. Periodic slides, yes. You can go yeah. and check once. Okay. Uh, this question. Yeah. Somebody has asked me the question from this, right? I, uh, it is yeah, 120. 120. 125. 125. 25. We need to find the cheapest. Okay. Uh, we need to find the cheapest cylindrical container to hold 1000 meter cube of water. The cost of top and bottom circular base is twice that of material used uh, for side of cylinder. Suppose if one meter square area of side cost uh, thousand rupees top and bottom base cost two thousand rupees what is the value of uh, what is the value of uh, so here what you have to do basically formulate a function right the objective function correct which will which will include uh, the uh, the dimensions as well as the cost right Correct. We okay. What 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 kind of problem is this? First of all, what kind of objective is it? Is it a maximization of or minimization of uh, problem? Like maximization of area or minimization of cost, or what is it? Minimize the cost. minimization. Minimize, Minimize the, cost. the cost. So how will you? So if it is based on the cost, what you will do here? What is your approach? Maximize the area of site. So uh, that is okay. So uh, first of all, try to find the objective function can you tell me what will be the objective function because here we are having some constraints right 
Uh, make the area of both uh, uh, upper and bottom plus uh, middle part. Okay. Minimum cost and... the object to function. Mm -hmm. See, we, we know that there is a container which is having volume 1000 meter cube. So that is fixed, right? Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. Then the cost of top and bottom circular base is uh, twice that of the material used for side. So that means if, if I use the uh, so let's say, suppose we'll try to, so for this kind of problems, right, it's better to draw some diagram so that it is, if you try sir, able to visualize the, it. The question is for week nine, no, sir, actually. I think it was a, uh, like, I think, I don't know which year question is this, because uh, this, at that time, that was, uh, I think some, uh, maybe two or three terms back, it was a part of, I think, quiz two. Uh, so then the reshuffling happened and uh, the syllabus has changed. Uh, that is what I feel because I, I joined this MLF team uh, last term only. So that time it was uh, only uh, week. It was only unconstrained optimization problem. It's okay, but maybe I will try to see this. So what is uh, the cost of this part and this part is two times the cost of the uh, this part, right? Okay, yes, this sir. we know. Now suppose one meter square area of side cost thousand rupees, and top and base will okay definitely it will cost two thousand because it's two times. Now what is the value of radius of cylinder such that we get minimum cost? So first we shall find the volume of the cylinder, huh. uh, which is pi r square h is equal to. Okay, so here what is uh, r here? This one right? Uh. This R. We find the R. And this is H. Okay. So suppose if you wanted, okay, this is H. So my equation will become pi R square H. H. Okay. But now uh, the question is uh, I know volume is equal to 1000. Okay. What about, uh, I don't know about anything about R and H. So can we get anything in terms of R and H here? Like single, single. Of H. Fix one on fix one of them. Huh, so how do you fix it? Um, R square H is thousand. So we so find the value of R in. Uh, so pi R square H. H is thousand. Okay then. Uh, so let us say R is R no, is equal no. to R only. No sir, we find the value of uh, R in the according to question. So so we put the value of H. So H is equal to thousand by pi R square. Okay, let's say you you did this h equals to thousand, thousand divided by r square. square. Okay, fine. And now make the uh, cost thing. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, what will be the cost now? The total cost. So make the uh, upper and bottom part. Upper and bottom part area so, is pi r yes. square. So yeah. it is twice the so two pi r square. Uh, and the value of 1 pi r square is 2000 so we multiply it as 2000 so this is this two areas will become what pi r 2 pi two, r so, because r this square. is a circular so it is pi r square and this is also pi r square so this is 2 pi r square okay we multiply and, the cost with so this plus this plus 2 pi uh, 2 pi r h 2 pi r h right so the, this cylindrical yeah. portion is what 2, two pi r h. So okay. this is my uh, actual, uh, what is it? Area. Surface area. area. Surface. I say surface area. Okay. So okay. h you can substitute. Uh -huh. That's right. Now you will get some objective function here. So 2 pi r and 1000 divided by r, pi r square right? And also so, sir, uh, we multiply with that. Uh, mm. Pi R square H is equal to cost is 2000 rupees. Ah, so here, uh, because this portion is uh, having 2000, so I'll just multiply this. Uh, okay. That is yeah. correct. So let's say it is. Sir, maybe instead of finding area, you are finding cost function, is it? Sir, if you, sir, without the ah. 2000, we just try to find the minimal R. Na? Uh, but 
okay but i think see what happens is here this r is also there right minimal r i don't think so i think we should do this this is a better uh, thing okay. what yeah, i yes, sir, we find the cost of area because uh, this we are not uh, minimizing the r here right we are okay, minimizing okay. the cost only so we have to make it a cost yes, function sir. right by r square h. so oh. here so this becomes let's say 4000 pi r square and here Okay, so the value of h, four thousand pi r square plus two thousand divided by r. This is my cost function, right? Correct. Sir, not. No, it's very right? well. Put the value of h also. So thousand to thousand. Yes, sir. It is okay, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. No, 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 no. I think this thousand is. Uh, I didn't multiply this. Thousand. Yeah. Four thousand, sir. No, no, no. See this two pi r h uh, h is thousand by pi r square, so this is different. But this cost is also thousand, right? No. Per meter this cost. Okay, okay. This is okay, so. correct, correct, correct. Correct. So it is ten to the power three uh, into ten to the power six. Into two. Into two. Into two. Right. Now this is my cost function. Now yeah. what what should be the next case? Differentiate and equal to zero. Yes, yeah. DC by DR. Uh, it's going to be two to zero. Okay. So this will be uh, eight thousand uh, pi. Eight thousand thousand pi R plus uh, okay minus. Nice. Zero. So this will become this. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, R cube will be in this terms two into ten to the power six, uh, eight thousand pi. Correct. Yes. Now this R will be the cube root of this. I don't know. So if you you guys have to calculate this, uh, maybe I think you will get three three values there. Right. पावर टू अपॉन थ्री इंटू टेन यस Correct. So suppose this actually this will become this, right? Ten to the power three, or it's not needed. Also, if you want, this yeah. is fine. Also, cube root of this, so it will be like cube root of two by pi into uh, basically ten by three, ten by two. Yeah, two. So which is five. All right. Is it correct? Yes, yes, I guess. Mm, okay, yes. fine. So you just uh, try to solve this. Uh, you'll get some value. Uh, R, and that should be your R here. And if if I get R, then okay, I need only R only. So sir, just check the answer. Is, answer is yes, sir. Yes, it should be. It is getting more, ah. Huh? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It is coming four point three zero one. Two into okay. just check whether we have done any mistakes somewhere. Just uh, cross check. I'll just check the calculation. I mean, anyway, we got the right idea. The idea is to get the cost function. I test this. Yeah. Okay. Sir, can you please once scroll up? Okay, just check with this. Maybe so. I have done some calculation mistake somewhere, or uh, I don't know. Okay, maybe. Sir, instead of here in the cost function two pi r square, you wrote, hmm. and that should be four pi r square, right? No, no. 
circular uh, area so surface okay, area yeah. of pi r square board pi r square correct pi r square plus pi r square that is correct mm -hmm. only just take the calculation but you just understand right like how yes. to proceed with this maybe we can use this time to solve some other question or something okay yeah uh, any other question hmm. so there is one uh, unitary diagonalization problem oh. unitary diagonalization that is uh, is it church decomposition or not sure mm -hmm. how to go about it it is uh should i share the screen should i should i just tell the matrix it is very small ha ah, fine you can just tell me the question it is uh, uh a matrix is there so i'm telling row wise one uh mm -hmm. minus i and minus one three uh, it is a three, uh, by three, three by three matrix three by three. okay yeah. so the second row is uh, i minus mm -hmm. one minus mm -hmm. i Mm. And uh, uh, minus one i and mm. minus one. Mm. This is a. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is a. Uh, then. So what is a unitary diagonalization of a? Okay. Unitary diagonalization. Okay. Yes. So how to approach this? Oh, so. Uh, the definition is what uh, Schur's decomposition or maybe Schur's theorem is what a matrix A is unitary diagonalizable if there exists a unitary matrix U such that U inverse A U or U U star A U is a diagonal matrix, right? So I wanted to find what I wanted to find a uh, okay. Can you just uh, repeat the question once? You wanted to find a diagonal matrix or you wanted to find unitary, unitary diagonalization of A. Sir, this okay. is the uh, spectral theorem, right? Spectral theorem. Spectral theorem also, like, it will come from the Schur's uh, decomposition only, right? Okay, okay. Because Schur's will give me an upper triangular matrix. Spectral ah. theorem is the extension of it only, right? So it will not yeah. give me uh, the uh, upper triangular matrix. It will give me the diagonal matrix. So we have to find the eigenvalue and eigenvalue, right. right here. Correct. You have to find what? Uh, first of all, so you will be, so you will be the matrix which will have the eigenvectors, eigen eigenvectors of A, right? Correct. Yes. Be because that is what diagonalization we have studied. So in in real matrix, what was our diagonalization concept? S inverse A S is equals to D, right? Correct, right? And that S was what? Uh, the independent eigenvectors of a right independent eigenvectors corresponding to a correct that was my diagonal uh, diagonalization concept right when we studied uh, real matrix real symmetry no don't remember okay so it's fine it is extensible to this uh, complex matrices also so a matrix a can be diagonalizable uh, first of all uh, a matrix should be what Symmetric matrix, right? In this case, I think uh, okay. In this case, it is not a symmetric one, it should be what uh, Hermitian one, right? Yeah, Hermitian, right? So, uh, I think this looks Hermitian only, but okay, let's let's try to find out uh, the eigenvalues of this matrix A first. So, what are the eigenvalues of A? So, how to find the eigenvalues of A? So you have to find the determinant, right? You have to find the determinant. Yes. So, determinant of A. So, determinant is, or not determinant, actually, 1 minus lambda times, okay, I'll just write down this uh, A minus lambda I goes to 0, right? So, this determinant we have to solve. Generally, this 1 minus lambda uh, minus I minus 1 I minus 1 minus lambda minus i minus 1 i minus 1 minus lambda equals to 0. So let's try to solve this. Uh, you guys also can solve uh, along with me, okay? So that uh, if any calculation mistake, it will happen. I will rectify it. Minus 1 minus lambda. 
minus of uh, i square right so it is minus of means like plus i square and then this will become minus one this will plus i minus i one to one minus lambda uh, then minus i right and here it is minus one times uh, minus one times i square uh, i square plus or 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 okay plus or i'll do this one the plus of take plus of minus one minus lambda okay that that should be equals to zero just check whether i've done correctly or not one minus lambda times this will be plus one plus lambda square uh, this is become to like plus lambda plus lambda this is plus two lambda minus one plus i into minus i minus i lambda minus i then here is minus of i square minus i minus lambda zero so this is one minus lambda here it is lambda square plus two lambda uh, here this become plus i times minus 2i minus i lambda and here this will become minus of i square minus i minus lambda equals to 0. Now I'll open it up. This is going to be uh, lambda square plus 2 lambda minus lambda cube minus 2 lambda square minus 2i lambda uh, this will become plus right plus lambda because this minus i square this becomes plus lambda uh, here it is minus okay minus i square so this is actually minus 1 right mm. uh, i square okay so this is plus 1 plus 1 plus i plus lambda zero if i don't uh, then this will become minus lambda q uh, plus sorry minus lambda square lambda plus lambda three lambda plus four lambda four lambda four lambda minus sir in the above uh, the second uh -huh. part uh -huh. we, we did a uh, i times uh, minus 2 uh, iota or i minus uh, uh, i lambda right uh, so the expansion seems wrong okay so right, this is it, uh, okay plus, uh, sorry minus min, uh, minus this then it will become 2 right so it will be plus 2 uh, mm -hmm. minus uh, uh, minus this, this also will become Square is plus two, right? Yeah, this is plus, plus two. Plus second, second part and third part cancels each other. Oh. Is it? Yeah, not sure. only okay. the first so part of the determinant that is, stays. That is, okay, if I do this, so this becomes uh, okay, this becomes what two i square, so it is uh, plus two, right? Here yeah. again, i square, okay, sorry, i square, i square, so this is again plus, plus two lambda. So lambda, where is two lambda? Only, ah, lambda. So only lambda okay plus lambda uh, here uh, this is plus two or plus one here it is okay plus i plus lambda right sir the second part is starting with minus i na basically second part was starting with minus i so this is plus i na if this is minus uh, i i have to take plus i right 
yeah yeah sorry sorry so here i have done this i think this, here it is not a mistake here i don't know third part you just check once uh, third one is i square which is minus 1 and uh plus 1 third part i think i done mistake so you just check this one minus 1 times i square which is i square is minus 1 na ha ah, here okay that is okay here i just put it here i square is minus 1 sir in ah, first here part, i say, no i guess and i is equal to plus 1 one moment i just i did one mistake here this is not i this is one right minus sir, one of sir in first part also sir i into minus i is equal to plus one no? this is plus one here plus sir, minus okay sir i is equal to minus so say it third part i did the mistake okay one minute so this is minus 1 times uh i square which is minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus lambda okay so this will become zero and this will become plus lambda plus lambda and this will become minus lambda only so uh, actually this will get cancelled now uh, this is minus lambda cube uh, minus lambda square plus 4 lambda is it two right two lambda only right this is cancelled now take now If it, is any anybody has done the calculations? I think I I, I think I have done. In this third part, now. there is minus lambda minus two. Third part is no no. It's I square. I square minus one minus one minus one minus two minus lambda, sir. Okay, this part now. Third. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this will become uh, I square, right? I square minus one. Minus of. Third part. Lambda sir, plus only. minus higher, sir. So if this will become inside, it will become plus one plus mm-hmm. lambda, right? Yes, And here it is minus one, right? Minus one, minus one. Minus. Okay. okay. It is minus two minus lambda. Yes, mm-hmm. minus two minus lambda. Mm-hmm. Not minus one plus one will not get cancelled. Mm-hmm. Here. Okay. So, there are a lot of plus minus issues here i took it this is uh, how much it is minus 2 minus lambda okay. so final one right mm-hmm. it is here this plus lambda minus lambda correct now this will so minus it is minus lambda minus 2 so we uh, outside it is minus so it is going to plus lambda plus 2 so minus 1 multiply na no? the third part okay one minute. i'll do it finally what minus 1 okay ha ah, minus 1 times okay inside this this will become uh, i square which is minus 1 of minus 1 and again minus 1 of right yes sir oh uh, this is minus 1 minus of plus 1 plus lambda then this will become minus minus 1 minus lambda right so this is uh, minus 2 minus lambda again minus 1 is there so the final will be plus 2 plus lambda okay. yes sir so here okay until this point is fine Bro, uh, he. I don't think he will discuss it. Plus lambda plus two. Okay. Okay. So.
what's uh okay so can i drop it all second part is fine this one yes sir okay so we'll do the calculation once more so this will become lambda square plus 2 lambda minus lambda cube minus 2 lambda square uh minus 2i square right so it, it will become plus 2 right this will become plus uh plus lambda this is already lambda plus 2 here goes to 0 now this is okay yes sir so this is minus lambda cube plus lambda square this 2 lambda plus 2 lambda plus 4 lambda and 2 plus 2 is 4 yes, now sir. i think this is okay this is the equation yes sir so if you solve this or maybe i'll do this like lambda cube uh minus lambda square minus four lambda minus four equals to zero okay so solving this is what i what i'll get the values of lambda <laughs> that is very difficult yes, yeah. i put the value of every hmm. again this is a, there was a trick for three uh, it, three factors, isn't it? it? Where you have a constant, and if you have a constant uh, four, you look at uh, one, two, and four, yeah. or where the zero, one, two, four. and four, and then yes. try a factor. And yes. uh, if you can find one uh, using division, then you'll be able to easily break up the rest. So that yeah, so that method is there. But okay, this question is from where it is uh is it a practice assignment or uh quiz question sure january, january 2023 it's a quiz what? question yes oh my it is very, <laughs> very yeah. please don't it's ask such questions no no it's hard to it will not be there it's like here solving itself here it's uh, like Breaking a rule, uh, sir. Different. One root is minus one, then we can break it. Then it I'm, I'm if I see such question, I'm leaving it. Okay. One is minus yes, one. Sir. Even minus one. Minus uh, one. one is minus one. So now we can break it in other I mean, uh, uh, it's it not possible. We put the lambda is equal to minus one. How to get the zero, sir? So here it's minus one q uh, minus of minus one square minus of four minus one minus four eight. So if I want, uh, I'll get to zero here actually. So it, here it is minus one. Here, minus one. one again, minus one. Sir. I think some sign is probably sign oh, yeah, is, yeah. is there actually. Minus uh, from when you when we were doing minus <laughs> lambda q, it should yeah. be minus, minus lambda, 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 lambda plus four yes. lambda plus four equal to zero. So from this equation, minus lambda q hmm. instead of plus lambda square, it should be minus lambda square because yeah. we are having in the equation okay. before it. A Maybe I, I don't know. Like okay, so I yeah, think lambda it's... square is also minus. Actually. Okay, okay. So I don't know. Like ah, huh, correct, correct. Here I think minus two lambda square was there, no? Yeah. Minus two lambda square plus lambda square. Because so of that. Minus lambda square. Right. Now then it's correct. So here. Yeah. Then this be this will one. be minus one plus one, and here it is plus four minus four. Minus four. So yeah. Giving zero. Zero. Yeah. Now it should be uh, lambda plus one, and then a bracket of its uh, quadratic equation. Then yes. Can so lambda, yes, lambda plus one, and then uh, uh, what will be the quadratic equation? That uh, I need to find it. <laughs> yes. I think that method is there, no? This one. Uh, yeah, exactly this one. Yeah, in this method. Mm. So now it is easy to solve. If getting a first rule is like we have to try use trial and error, right? Yes. So this quiz to solution we will it will be shared today or 
Yeah, today, today. I just messaged yeah, mock, him. Mock, mock two. Mock two, yes. Sir, x square minus four. I guess it should be. So, give, give me the final answers, no? Uh, uh, that would be so plus four minus four uh, minus one uh, plus four minus four. Yes. Okay. Sir, so the final answer for this one, right? Uh, yes. Then okay. no. Then again, you have to plug in the values here, right? Yes. Uh, to find the eigenvectors of A. So I'll I'll do it for one maybe. Uh, minus one will do. So for lambda equals to minus one. Or is it is it okay if I tell you the uh, uh, the procedure? How to proceed it? So just tell so, the procedure. Yeah, actually, you'll get uh, yeah, you'll get three uh, three eigenvectors here, right? Corresponding because we have three different eigenvalues. Hmm. You get the three eigenvectors, and that will form you your uh, matrix U. So you are basically your uh, uh, your diagonalization will be this, right? By using the uh, spectral theorem. Hmm. Okay. So sir, we so use after the. Graph. Process also. No, Gram Schmidt is not required here. Gram Schmidt is not for uh, finding out the uh, eigenvectors, right? Gram Schmidt is required when you don't have uh, the orthogonal basis, right? Okay. I think you will get the orthogonal basis here because you are having three uh, different eigenvalues. So, in this case, I think you will get it. But okay. So, if you don't get it, then you have to use it. Otherwise, you, uh, there is no need. See, it's the same procedure what you have used to do for diagonalizing the uh, real matrix, right? Here, so it's a Hermitian matrix, no? Oh. Huh, no, no, that is okay. That is what I'm saying. If it is a complex matrix also, the procedure is same. Now you have to find uh, the eigen eigen uh, vectors, and that will form matrix U, and then. Uh, if, once you found u, you will be easily able to find out u star, right? Yes. So u star a and u will give me a, a diagonal matrix. And if it is not giving me the diagonal matrix, then what is the procedure? Then I have to use. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very lengthy process. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, like, why this. <laughs> if, if that was a question, this question, then. So you given in the examination or quiz two is coming. This gram is actually very lost of lot of uh, calculation is needed. No, Graham Smith. Uh, I I don't think uh, you know in quiz two it is there. The question is not there on uh, Graham Smith. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, 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 what I suggest is uh, because. Uh, if I know the quiz to paper, uh, you just don't go for like, uh, don't solve this kind of problems because you don't have much time, right? Today, mm -hmm. so you just have such limited time uh, for practicing. Don't solve this three by three, this kind of very difficult uh, questions. Just try to focus on the concepts uh, or the flow of the questions, like how to solve these questions or uh, mm -hmm. what will happen if the two by two matrix is there. If these are the properties of two by two, how can it be translated to three by three, or maybe higher dimensions? Usually, you know these kind of things. I think it's better. See, this this kind of problems we don't ask because uh, it is like very. So, I, I if, if I'm the if I'm in the question like in the exam, I think I'll probably take half an hour to call uh, I'll, to get the eigenvalue right. I think it's very very lengthy question. Because if you do some mistake also, you have to again revisit the calculations and solve it. So you need to be very focused there. So please, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll suggest that. Um, sir, okay, please complete your sentence. Sorry. Ah, so I was saying that, that you go for like uh, solving like big complex matrices, uh, maybe in real matrices also. Uh, or complex matrices. So just go for like uh, simple matrices. If you you should go for three by three. I'm not saying that. Don't go three, but three by three should be 
it should give me easy routes or something like that and then i should be able to proceed like that so try to solve that kind of problems only if you are practicing it today so you have a limited time if you start this uh Normally, uh, I'll summarize which are important or something. Is it okay for you guys to formula right? Gradient descent formula. I'm not going to solve any problem. I think we have solved it on uh, this week only, but just to revise it. This gradient descent is what? X t plus one is equals to x t minus eta. Uh, it should be if uh, what is what should be here? F of x. This what? It's a step size. It uh, or or uh, or it be function of Uh, so this uh, uses multivariate uh, applications. What should be x t plus one? So as that it let's x t plus one, y t plus one. Okay, is equal to x t y t plus d t. And instead of f t of x, your voice is breaking. Great. Left. Your screen is also not visible. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, maybe the internet problem is there. Uh, now is it visible? Sir, no, sir. Okay, okay. So, oh, I was writing the formulas there actually. Okay, sorry. Sir, even your voice is uh, breaking. Okay, okay, maybe now. Now is it? But at yes. least it is fine. Yeah. Okay. No, it's no, it's okay. So I was discussing about V K concepts. Like I will just give you the brief summary of V K. Uh, here, there is a basic formula which is a gradient descent formula, right? So here, uh, if I wanted to use for single variable, this formula will translate like this: x t plus one equals to x t minus eta t f dash of x. What is eta t here? It's a step size, right? And uh, step size is uh, it will be it may be a constant or it may be a function of t. What is t here? Iterations, right? Uh, am I am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And if I wanted to translate it to multivariate, multivariate, let's say uh, that means more than one variable. So I'm just showing it for two variables here. So x t plus one. Y t plus one. This is a vector, and is equals to x t y t. Again, it's a vector, and eta t del f at x t y t. Okay, that point. Again, uh, it's the same thing. Eta t may be a constant, or eta t may be a function of a uh, function of a, uh, a step size. So, if I summarize this, uh, so let's say this is. What should I say here? Let's say a t plus one equals to a t minus eta t del f of del f at a t. Okay. And del f is what? Gradient descent. No, this is a gradient. Okay. Okay. Gradient is given by. Suppose if it is a uh, two value function, it is. Del f by del x, then uh, del f by del y, or if it is more than two values, then it should be del f by del z like this, right? It will also be a vector. Then we have to find this gradient uh, at those points, right? This a t. Uh, so am I audible to you? Yes, yes. So if somewhere learning rate is also given, hmm. what is that? Learning rate is uh, this one. Okay, this is... either learning rate or step size. So, yeah, you can say the same thing. Okay. 
So what if it, uh, Taylor series is given in to uh, multi-dimensional? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So uh, generally, Taylor series is used to uh, I like find that whatever. So if you see the lecture properly, you'll understand that uh, we have come up to this formula of gradient descent, right? It's x t plus one. Uh, so this formula is there: x t plus one equals to x t minus eta t f dash of x, right? Or x t, yes, right? But I wanted to check whether we are going into the uh, correct direction or not, right? So mm -hmm. suppose if you are going from here to here, right? If you are here at some point x t, and whether I'm going to this side or this side, sh where should I go? If if this is a curve, ideally I should go to the descent side, right? Mm -hmm. So I, my x t plus one should be on this side. To check whether uh, I'm going in the correct direction, we'll use the Taylor series. So how you're, uh, how I'm saying that uh, this is the correct uh, method to check, I'll tell you. So suppose this is my curve, right? Uh, and this is x. So suppose this is x t or x, and this is f of x, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm at x t, what does that mean? If I'm at x t, that means uh, I'm here, right? X t. Yes. Yes, so I, what is the corresponding functional value here? F of x t, correct? Yes. And if I'm going downwards, that means I'm going into a descent direction. I should reach at x t plus one, right? Mm -hmm. And that means uh, here it is f of x t plus one. Okay. So if you see the uh, uh, what if I'm going into the descent direction, what is happening? f of x t plus one minus f of x t is what? My negative. Negative. Yes. Right. And that that is showing me that I am going into a descent direction. If I were going into this direction, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say this is some x naught or something. Uh, so f of x naught. Uh, then f of x naught minus f of x t will give me what? Positive. That means I am not going into the correct direction. This is the point where I will say that I have to stop. And that is where uh, we are getting from. We are getting uh, getting this from Taylor series, right? So, what is Taylor series? X plus sigma d f function. So, uh, generally, okay, general Taylor series what f of x plus h is equals to f of x plus plus h h into f dash, f dash of x plus s square by 2 factorial f double dash of x plus so on, right? Uh, but in this case, our h is what? Eta into the direction, right? Uh, which is the descent direction we are saying. So f of x plus eta d is equals to fx. And this is what actually? f of x plus eta d is what? x t plus 1, right? So this is f of x plus eta h will be eta d f dash of x plus h square is eta square d square by 2 factorial f double dash of x and so on, right? But what's happening here, uh, since eta is very small, right? Mm -hmm. uh, eta is very small and the square of eta will also be very small. Again, f double dash of x also will be very smaller mm -hmm. and hence we are uh, neglecting the higher order terms here. So we are just keeping these terms so f of x d plus f of x plus eta d f dash of x. This is my Taylor series, right? Now f of x plus eta d minus f of x is equals to eta, eta d f dash of x. So when I say that uh, uh, my algorithm, which is a gradient descent algorithm, is uh, giving me uh, the correct direction when this is having a negative value right okay, right so and uh, and then okay so f dash of x will be positive or negative so it is negative it, it can be repeated. can be repeated. can be anything right okay eta 
It's positive. Positive. So and what will what about D? What is uh, descent direction we are having? Should be the negative of the gradient. Negative of the gradient. So it is actually minus eta. Gradient is what? F dash, f dash of x only. So f dash of x into f dash of x is what? F, f dash of x square. So now f dash of x, irrespective of whatever the value of f dash of x is having, whether it is positive or negative, the square of it will be positive. Positive. What about eta? It is positive. positive. So so this quantity is positive. 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 But wow. with this negative sign, I am making sure that I am. proceeding into the correct direction right and hence the choice of f dash of x as a direction is the correct choice in our uh, gradient descent algorithm that is what uh, trailer series proves to me understand yes. so uh, this is actually a theoretical part if you wanted to uh, go for the quiz like uh, like if i if i if you are interested in only quiz So f of x plus eta d is equals to f of x, and the, uh, or maybe you can think about like this: f of x t plus one is equals to f of x t plus eta f dash x t. Right? Uh, and you uh, you'll have that eta, uh, not eta actually. Here it should be step size h. H is actually uh, is combination of eta and d. Okay. So we have some problems there. You can just I think one problem is there in graded assignment. Just take that graded assignment problem. Should it be minus or plus? Which one? So uh, Taylor series looks like this. I told you right. Uh, if you are using this, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the descent direction is negative then it will come as minus only right okay but you understand right like why we are using this taylor series there and why uh, maybe if you have any problem i'll try to solve that it will be uh, good if you wanted to if you have any confusion regarding this uh, i think it is there in uh, week 8 We get right, hmm. and I saw if you wanted to solve it for higher dimension, what will be the change? Instead of f dash of x, what will what you will have? Yeah, the formula f double dash. So uh, higher dimension. Sir, graded assignment uh, question. Hmm. Eight and uh, week eight. Ha, huh, week eight. I'm going. Nine and ten. Can you just yes. Yeah, I saw it. Yes. Nine and ten. The constant. Yeah. Uh, this is very basic, so, no? Just, no, actually, the ninth question says the answer is less than two hundred, right? Okay, so the question is a factory manufactures uh, two products A and B to manufacture one unit of A, one machine hours and two labor hours required. To manufacture uh -huh. B, two machine hours and one labor hours required. Mm -hmm. In a month, two hundred machine hours and one forty. So we have uh, limit limitations on machine hours, right? Right. Two hundred and one forty. So right. the maximum it can be uh, it can go up to two hundred. Correct. Uh, Objective function is to maximize, right? we have to maximize the profit profit so we so have to use the is, maximum we should use up to the maximum hours right so the the hours no but hours can the hours the maximum hours are 200 so, so we have to means, match it right then only we no. will get maximum profit no 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 you are okay it, is, are it should be a equality thing right no. it, it cannot no, be no, less no. than no no it should be less than okay i'll tell you how so uh, suppose Okay, A is the product, right? How many machine hours required to manufacture A? Uh, uh, how much it is giving? One, one machine hours 
and okay. two laborers. Okay. Right. For manufacturing product B, you need uh, two machine hours and one labor hours. Okay. But right. uh, the profit I am having on uh, selling A is how much? It is forty-five rupees. Mm. Okay. Mm. And uh, for selling B is thirty-five rupees for mm. one one unit of A. So suppose I am selling X one units of A. And x two units of b, how much profit I will I will gain? So that is my objective function. It is right, forty five right. times x one times thirty mm. five times x two. But right. to produce uh, x one units of a, how many mm. machine hours are required? One. No, no. X x one. X one, right? And x one plus two x two. Two x two, right? Two x two. Yes. But the constraint on machine hours is we have only maximum two hundred. Maximum of two hundred. That means so I can I can go up. It. I can go up to two hundred, or less than two hundred. But I cannot go beyond two hundred, right? Okay, no. equal to two hundred is okay for you. Equal to you understand? Correct. Maximum. Equal to two hundred, we should achieve, right? Yeah, but more than that, can you go more than that? We cannot go more than that. So that means we we should keep either equal to two hundred or less than two hundred. So equal to is also an option given. But that becomes wrong. No, no, this. When this I choose the time. No, correct only. I no, I chose equal to the fourth option. Ha, but that, that is wrong. wrong. No, no, because that is not equality constraint, right? This I is... didn't know because no. I thought we should match the we should achieve the maximum uh, hours. We utilize the maximum no. hours. No, hours. But we can only utilize. get into profit. No, right? you are you are you are saying is correct only. But suppose mm. let's say x one is uh, okay. By selling forty-five x one. So no, suppose if, uh, if I can just uh, make a comment. Uh, yeah, the, the the function is to maximize profit, not yes. hours. Yes. So that's why uh, we are not trying to maximize hours. So we're not trying to reach two hundred. We're just trying to maximize. Yeah. Hours. We have to. Yeah, we have to maximize hours. Correct. This is the. Yeah. This is a better explanation, I guess. Yeah. So we actually we are trying to maximize the profit, and mm -hmm. uh, we, we are not actually trying to uh, fully utilize the machine hours or labor hours, right? In case of like to to maximize the profit, what we are trying mm -hmm. to do is we are trying to optimize the machine hours and labor hours, right? Okay. So and hence it cannot be equal to. Equal to means okay, I can reach it. I can reach it to equal to. But whether mm -hmm. reaching it to the that many full potential will give me the maximum profit or not, that is not guaranteed, right? Because it's a co combination of product A and combination of product B. So suppose if I try to utilize a uh, number of ma machine hours more, uh, then in that case maybe the profit because profit corresponding to B is lesser, right? Okay, okay. But mm -hmm. but but the machine hours using by uh, machine B. Is higher, mm -hmm. so if I produce more number of B, this will reduce my profit, right? Because okay. the profit associated with B is very less. Okay, so right. the equal so, to cannot be used here. Yes, we because we are we are not trying to uh, achieve this uh, this part. We are trying to maximize this part, and to mm -hmm. achieve this, I need to optimize this machine hours and labor hours such that. Uh, like you, you have to uh, get some, you know, that that this kind of curves will be there, no? Some, and then we are getting some optimum value. So we have to, we cannot go here, or we cannot go here, this point, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, this is some kind of example, which is uh, maybe it's not here uh, useful, okay. but okay, okay. I think uh, we right. are uh, we we wanted to solve this one problem, right? Mm -hmm. I'll solve this one and then maybe we'll stop. Uh, what is it? Uh, is there any problem? Yeah, there is one. There this was one. one. Fifteenth, fifteenth one we'll solve. This is a multivariate, right? Mm -hmm. Not fifteenth one. I think. Uh, twelfth one. Twelfth. Twelfth one. Okay, twelfth one. Okay. The value of a function at a point ten is hundred. The value of the functions first and second order derivative uh, at this point are twenty and two respectively. What will be the function's approximate value? 
at the point 10.5 okay so now uh, functions value at 10 is how much 100 100 functions first derivative at 10 is 20 and second derivative at 10 is uh, two. Two. 2 2 2 right okay so what is our taylor series f of x plus h is equals to f of x plus h f dash of x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash of x and so on but we are not using the uh, higher terms so we need to find what f of 10.5 right so uh, i can write this f of 10.5 as f of 10 plus 0.5 so if i uh, try to compare this to uh, what is h here then 0.5 right so i'll just plug in so it will be f of 10 plus 0.5 f dash of 10 plus 0.5 square by 2 factorial f double dash of 10 so f of 10 is and this is not the exact solution this will be approximate why is this approximate because uh, higher order we are yes we are neglected this so f of 10 is 100 plus 0.5 times f dash of 10 is 20 10. plus 0.5 square upon 2 factorial which is 2 actually into 2 so you just solve this you get f of 10.5 okay this is how you have to solve taylor series whatever uh, explanation i have given is uh, to show that why we have used taylor series in this optimization thing or gradient descent algorithm okay and let's say uh no, no i think we don't have this two uh, multivariable in here uh, but if it is there what will you do if it is multivariate thing this this formula will be gradient uh, so and and this function will be actually uh, a, it will be actually a vector right yeah, vector. Vector and uh, this f dash of x will be uh, gradient at that x point. Yeah, x is x is also a vector. It's it's vector. a vector. So all these will be vectors. Okay. The, the h will be in that case. H will be uh, simple uh, say scalar value. Difference. Scalar value doesn't matter, right? Okay. okay. Because it will be same for uh, all, right? Yeah, yeah. Or okay. or maybe uh, if maybe it can be a vector. Yeah, it can be a vector. Right? Yeah, then right. yeah, then what will you do? You will have to use uh, transpose, right? To that multiplication, because ah, then it will become a dot product. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, sir, I have a. I don't know. I don't know. One minute, one minute. It shouldn't be transpose because. Because then it will uh, we will not get the vector right out. We should get. Uh... You should get vector there. No 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 value value okay the functional value right okay then you should have to use a transpose only right. Mm. It, it should not be a vector. Mm. Ah, yes, uh, somebody was asking. Uh, sir, I have one small query. Uh, I mean, uh, graded assignment five question number seven. Okay, I, I have gone through the solution okay, but still I have some doubts in that. assignment five question number seven yeah so see i mean uh, there are multiple ways approach we can solve this k okay mm -hmm. one is uh, because it's a unitary it's mentioned so we, we can do uh, a uh, a transpose equal to i either that a, a transpose or a a star right a star a star yeah correct equal mm -hmm. to i either that approach mm -hmm. or uh, each column will be orthonormal right so mm -hmm. we, we can take that approach or uh, both i mean both these columns should be orthogonal to each other either the approach okay in the solution it is it is i mean we used uh orthogonal approach to equate it to zero okay mm. but then i was using the other approach like where if i take the column one and then i was trying to find the uh that column orthonormal equal to one equated to one mm. so in that case i am getting k equal to plus or minus one 
okay so okay. i'm wondering like why plus or minus 1 is not correct because i try to substitute both k as plus 1 and minus 1 and i try to find whether a a star equal to i or not for both the values i'm getting a star a, i mean equal to uh, i mean uh, ah, okay i understand your query so you are saying that uh, why this is not correct and only plus 1 is correct huh? correct yeah okay uh, so let's stay okay i i, I didn't solve this so maybe we we can try to solve this uh, so i'll use this approach a star equals to i right so what is a a is uh, 1 by k plus i k uh, root 2 root 2 ah uh, root 2 okay yeah then k minus i uh, root root 2 i okay and here about that by 1 by 2 1 by 2 i think 2 okay Fine, fine. Okay. And uh, what will be a star? A star will be a conjugate transpose, right? So yeah. if I use conjugate first, k minus i root two, k plus i root minus root two i, right? And transpose of it will be half k minus i k plus i root two minus root two, right? This is fine. Is a star, yeah, and a a star, right? So now you have to use a a star, one by two, a two, k minus i, two i, into one by two. So okay, is it possible? Is it okay if I use four outside? Equals to sorry, not zero. Uh, it should be in uh, I identity. So one zero zero. Yeah. Okay. So uh, one by four into uh, so first row into first column. So it is a plus i into k square plus one. Yeah. Uh, okay. K square. K square plus one. Sure. Yeah, it will be k square plus one. Yeah. Okay. K square plus one, uh, okay. then plus plus two. Okay, I'm assuming you are you have done the calculations correctly. Uh, no, I mean uh, I I'm telling k plus i into k minus i will be k square plus one. Then uh -huh. root two into root two will be plus two. Okay, k, k plus i into this first row first. Okay, it will be k square plus three if you are looking for the complete uh, that column value. Oh, you okay? You didn't give me the full answer. Okay. No, no, it's k square plus. Three. Okay, then I'll do. It. Okay, just a minute. Then I'll do it. Uh, k plus i, k minus i, right? Uh, plus two, right? Is correct? Yeah. Is square square minus okay, i plus k i will cancel and i square uh, minus i square. So this, right? So this is k square plus three. K square plus three. What about this first row first? So this is k plus i into k plus i is a square plus b square, right? Yeah. Or uh, no? No, no, no. A square be, plus b square. It will be square plus with all square. Two k i plus minus one. Hmm. And uh, here it is minus two i. Minus two i. Minus two i only. Okay, mm, so this will become k square minus one plus i into. Okay, maybe I'll. Sir, we we not need to too much calculation. We compare k square plus three is equal to one. Yeah, here it's identity matrix. So we find the value of k. Correct. Yeah, even first column yeah. column should be good enough. Yes. Sure. Right. Okay. So then, yes. if I do that, then plus three by four equal to one. So let's say k square plus three by four equals to one. One equals to four. Okay. Then also k square will get plus minus one. Ah. Uh, then yeah. I think k should be plus minus one. This should be the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Because in the solution, it is mentioned only. No, one. sir. If you do the other one equal uh. to zero, then yeah. the minus one will not come. Okay, that's what I was trying to. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's do this calculation once. Okay. Okay. We have to make sure that uh, 
every everything has to be correct right let's let's do this okay k plus y to k plus i right k and k. minus root 2 so this is 2i okay this is correct right yes plus k square plus 2ki minus 1 minus 2i equals to 0 so how how to solve this one this k square k square uh, minus 1 maybe and here it is if i take the i common is 2k right so k square minus 1 will give me plus minus 1 but ab, what about minus 2 minus 2 equals to 0 will give me k equals to 1 1 okay uh, and if i use k equals to minus 1 here what will happen it will not give me 0 so this imaginary part right this giving me the constraint over not using k equals to minus 1 okay uh, sir if you don't mind can you use the other approach like where uh, we take uh, we find that column to be orthonormal because i mean in other other questions relating to this wherever possible we take that formula also right i mean the column has to be ah, that is fine that is okay because if it is a unitary matrix it is having a property right correct yeah ah. so if you take that approach i mean i get only i mean plus or minus one yeah that's what i did and i was wrong in this question Mm -hmm. So, first of all, if I say k is, let's say, I, what we'll do is, maybe we'll try in another way. Okay, I'll use, uh, because we know the answer now, so it's like 1 plus i. So, 1 is definitely we know, right? Shall we check for minus 1? Yeah, yeah, minus 1 is good enough, yeah. Minus 1, sorry, minus 1, minus i, uh, root 2 and root 2i, right? And I need to check whether these two columns are ortho. Uh, orthogonality comes, I think, sir. Ortho, orthogonal to each other, suppose. Is it is it is it coming? So that is default, no, sir. If it is orthogonal, is default, isn't it? A if it is A A transpose. I mean, A. default in the sense I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, we get orthogonal, sir. If please, you can check. The vectors are always orthogonal, right? Vectors are always orthogonal. Yeah, but but we haven't proved it for minus one. No, no, no. The, the, the first sentence was like for every matrix you are talking about or every unitary matrix it was like I don't understand. Every unitary matrix. Yeah, but we have to because since we don't know if the value of k, unless we, we are sure about value of k and then if it is unitary matrix, then it is correct only, right? No? Right. Yes, right. yes, that's right. Yeah. Correct. 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 We, we have to check this here. No? Uh, that is what we are trying to prove, right? Whether uh, if I plug in the value of k equals to minus 1, uh, then I'll get the orthogonal uh, matrix or orthogonal vectors or not. If I'm getting it, then definitely uh, uh, this uh, uh, the, the k equals to minus 1 is possible there. Right. Okay. Minus 1 plus i. Uh, so okay, how to do this? So is so minus two transpose v is equal to zero, right? Yeah. Mm, so it's like minus minus one plus i uh, minus one minus i and divided by two is there and of uh, root two divided by two is one by root two one upon root two i. It should give me zero. So. So first calculation, what is it? Uh, minus one plus i by two. Whenever you are doing the calculation for complex matrices, right? Uh, just do it like stepwise, okay? Because the chances of uh, getting wrong answers are high there. Must like uh, calculations. Huh? Okay. So yeah. what is it? Minus one upon two root two plus i uh, 
2 root 2 hmm. yeah minus 1 upon sure. yeah. should we not take conjugate two or root you are just taking transpose 2 right. root 2 i sir ah right 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 see this this has to be there no yeah because this complex see that's what this mistakes will happen right we are, we are very habituated with doing the matrix calculations okay correct so okay sorry then this should be plus okay minus 2 i in the, here also uh, there is no there is no mistake right first row into so ah okay this is not a problem there here there is a problem so here it is minus 1 upon 2 root 2i uh, then plus uh, say, which is minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 So let's say yeah, it's not zero. zero. Not zero, right? No. This is basically minus two upon two root two, which is one upon root two. Uh, again, same minus i upon root two. It's not getting zero. So uh, your understanding is, I think the mistake which is uh, so so same mistake which I done, I think you have done that same mistake. Can you uh, no sir even i didn't do this step also i just took the first column alone and then try to do uh, uh, i mean uh, try to multiply that that columns transpose with that same column uh, to uh, start, no to, no no uh, to normally whether i get one because that's a, that's another property right but that is later right first orthonormal vectors what are the prop what is orthonormal vector so orthonormal vectors are what so let's say u and v are these two vectors and if they are orthonormal what does that mean first is u and v are orthogonal to each other right and what is the orthogonality condition the dot product between u and v is zero if it is uh, the real case it is u transpose v equals to zero and if it is complex then it is u bar like the conjugate of u transpose equals to zero this is for real matrices this is for complex matrices and the second step is norm of u equals to norm of v equals to one right so if you get u norm of u as one and norm of v as one it doesn't guarantee me that uh, they are orthogonal to each other right okay so yes sir both are both both are required yes See, uh, the the norm of u is equals to one. That means the left vector is one. But there are like uh, several vectors which are having uh, length as one. But are they orthogonal to each other? That means are they having uh, the, these two vectors are at ninety degree to each other or not? If they are having like some other degree, they let's say sixty degree, they are apart from each other. But they are having uh, the norm as one. It is possible, right? Okay. See, I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, I understand this what you are explaining, but uh, even in practice assignment of week five also, right? There are where similar kind of questions where we are asked to find k. We use this property to see and that. Uh, maybe that is a coincidence that uh, you uh, have got. Uh, yeah, correct. That yeah. is possible. Right. Okay. So the the values are such that aligned such that that uh, once you if you just find out this thing, you'll be able to say that uh, this is possible. Okay. But the correct approach should be what? We should check this first if they are orthogonal to each other, and after that, you can check for this uh, norm. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure, sir. Yeah, sir. One another quick question. Uh, uh, I I mean, in week six open uh, session, right? We discussed about four ways to find that uh, positive definite definiteness. Or, okay. Definiteness, right? So yeah, there's a four in the quiz. Quiz. You, uh, if I you want me to uh, write down. Those are uh, you want me to tell like which of these are useful? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so my question okay. is, hmm. sorry, yeah, tell, tell me what is useful? Yeah, so just 
my question is i think in most of our sessions tutorial sessions and all i think lecture sessions and all i think it was mentioned like uh, uh, everywhere it, we use that uh, determinant form right so that's what ah, that is fine that is enough actually okay for, see, for solving the problems that is enough that is what i'm saying ah. but general idea of this is this should be a symmetric matrix right yeah correct that is for definite this should be a symmetric matrix and symmetric means it definitely will become a square matrix okay this this is the property then first is what uh, i maybe uh, i'll give, go with determinant test what is determinant test first determinant is 0 a is a greater than c greater than 0 a is c minus b square greater than 0 I, at least you check this two okay i'll okay. i'll suggest that you just take uh, this two uh, the solve with the questions which are there right go through that uh, because for 3 by 3 2 by 2 is fine 2 by 2 is not a difficult thing to correct get. correct yeah uh, here it should be 0 and third is pure test pure test is like not a difficult uh, to take and fourth is i think this is there no, it should be but you are okay. suggesting first two should be good enough. Yes, this is you know. How about three by three matrix? Or three by three also? Uh, see, determinant is uh, 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 that maybe you just check that small uh, square boxes we have to check, right? From yes. A so three by, yes. Okay. So let's say if I if you so, have this matrix, mm -hmm. could you explain the pivot test also in this? Pivot test is just like. Uh, you have to find the pivots, right? So pivots is like what? Uh, when the elimination method is there, what you do? Just uh, one minute. First of all, I'll uh, write down this matrix. Okay. A, B, C. Maybe what is what are? B, B. Yes. Huh? Symmetric, right? Ah, okay. So it is B here. Uh, so it, let's say D. So C, C, D. Hmm? Or yeah. B, C. Correct only. Fine, right? Yeah. Or... Okay. So in this case, what will happen? A is greater than zero. This is uh, what is it? Uh, Eigen uh, uh, this determinant test. Determinant test. Then uh, what should be the next determinant test? For the upper square matrix, right? This one. So this is the the yes. Second. Uh, so A E minus b square is greater than 0 and then the final one yeah. the, the bigger one that has to be greater than 0 and eigenvalue test is what so if all are greater than 0 it is positive definite yes if, uh, if one of the thing is not i mean if one of the thing is negative, positive definite you don't have to worry about it it's positive definite just everything should be positive ah. but when when that semi-definite comes when the negative definite comes indefinite comes indefinite you uh, the only thing you have to test is determinant Determin the entire determinant if entire determinant, determinant that is negative uh, then it is then indefinite indefinite we are not able to say anything about it Correct. so that is why uh, you just go through the, the that last portion of that ppt right maybe okay. you go through the pdf you'll understand okay sure yeah okay so this pivot uh, one question uh, sir, uh, i wanted to pivot ask. is uh, one minute, one minute. I'll, I'll just finish off this anyway. So, pivot is what? Uh, first pivot is this for this 3 by 3 matrix. What is pivot? First, first pivot is A is greater than 0, definitely. What about hmm. the second pivot? So, second pivot is generally what? Uh, so, if you do the elimination, so first round of elimination will be what? Making this 0, 0. Hmm. Right? So, if I wanted to make uh, this 0, what row operation I have done? R2 has changed to R2 minus. B by A of R1, right? Yeah. Right? So, yes, uh, so, yes. so what we, what is the value here? E minus B square upon A. Mm. Correct, right? Yeah. And here it is uh, D minus B C upon A. Okay. If I wanted to make uh, this 0, this 0, what I have to do? R3 is changed to R3 minus T by A of 
R1. So this will become D minus uh, BC upon A, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. It will oh. become F minus C square. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, for for this to be, so what is the second period now? This is my first period. Second period will be this, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. So, E minus, so this is first period. The second period, E minus B square upon A should be positive now. Positive. What about the third period? Then I have to make this zero. Hmm. Correct, no? And to make this zero, then you have to do some calculation and then you'll get some term here accordingly. Right. I'm not going to do the calculation hmm. there. But then again, that hmm. should also be greater than zero. So if we do the row reduction and bring everything yes, positive, yes. then it is positive. Yes. That's all. Yeah. So yeah. So it's it's like you have to start. Uh, but you, you have to start such that your first A is positive. If it is negative, you you need not to worry about it. Then. That is not going to be positive anyway. Not positive semi definite or not positive definite as well. Right? No. Yeah. yeah. Got it. So if A is positive, then all the pivots are positive. Then positive, it is positive. positive. Definite, yes. And for getting all three positive, you have to uh, make that matrix into the uh, row reduction form matrix. Yeah. Basically, we have to make it an upper triangular matrix, isn't it? Yeah. Correct. So I think I got that confirmation. Uh, uh, so that I think it is uploaded. The quiz mock solution is uploaded. And sir, sorry, yes, yes, sir. One question, sir. Sir, how many questions will be there in quiz? How many questions there will be in the quiz? I don't know, maybe 12 or 13. Hello, sir. 12 or 13, sir. Yeah, yeah, 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. Hello, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. So, may I ask one question? Ah, tell Sir, in credit assignment uh, 7, uh, they have asked the approximation error in question number 6, but the eigenvalue minimum is 0, but uh, there is yeah, no... No, 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 that is uh, wrong. I think we have discussed this in the previous uh, session. The 6th okay. question, right? That is, I think it is... Yeah, yeah. Yes. There is a... It should be 0. Answer hmm. should be 0. 0, yes. Which, one, which question? Uh, I think because Answers that be yeah, okay. I think that uh, the the problem happened there is uh, because of uh, this. Which one? Practice assignment question, right? No, no. Graded assignment six. Uh, Graded grade assignment seven. Question six. Ha! Huh, but uh, this. Yeah, this, yeah, this one. Actually, this is coming because this is very near to zero, right? Okay. If you if you approximate it, I think that practice assignment question it is question number six, right? Uh, that I think I have discussed that one. Okay. This six into that actually it comes to zero only. Yeah, this question the practice assignment. Sir, sir, actually for that question options are correct. Yeah, yeah, I know. But if you take the approximate values, right? Like if you round off the values, then you will get zero actually. But it's okay. The if you don't uh, round off. Then you will get that 6 into something 10 to the power. But it's okay. If you get the 0 also, the nearby value is 6 into 10 to the power minus 4. So 6 into 10 to the power minus 4 is uh, very close to 0. So that is fine. This question, the practice assignment question number 6. Uh, yeah, 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 6 and 5. Yeah, here, uh, no, 5 was okay. 5 was okay. 5 was okay. okay. Uh, but 6 is 0. 6 is, should be 0. I think we have discussed... Uh, right, right. Problem. We discussed this. Yes, yes. Because if you see, yeah, this this the number, same number point. Is 0 to 1, 1, 2, 0. They are same points. If they are same points, then the reconstruction error cannot be different. It should be 0, right? right? Mm -hmm. That we have discussed, I think, one, one day. Yes, 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 sir. You discussed in your uh, open session. Yes. Okay. So, uh, shall we close now then? It's like almost uh, 3 hours. Yes, sir, yes. Uh, I think you guys. So what I said is, yeah. So what I said is, if you're, you if you have like limited time from now onwards, what you can do is, uh, you just utilize that time to solve uh, like simpler problems, but the focus on the concepts. Don't try to solve like very complex calculations because it will not help you in any way. Okay. No, no, that is fine. Like whatever we have discussed, I think that is enough. <laughs> you just go through the topics, whatever are there. 
okay all the best to all of you i hope you will do great tomorrow okay bye thank right. you for thank joining you. session thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir i hope you enjoyed this session and uh, you uh, it's like I, i was able to